Fuck. Hello! Oh, Whoa! Oh, oh, the welcome! Jesus! So zoomed in. Uh, High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome <laughs> to High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons oh, stream noise. with us, the High Rollers crew here on the Yogscast uh. Twitch. Welcome! I am your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. And joining me as always. She, she's dancing. Rihanna! Hey! Our living battery of energy. <laughs> Chris Trot. <laughs> Kim. Rich Odds. Rich Ford. <laughs> On the other side, Tom Hazel. Tom! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> For D&D! &D. Oh. Uh, and as always, the lovely Katie Morrison. Hey, ooh, I get oh, lovely. Oh. Oh. So lovely. So Got cute. Keep him so, sweet, keep him king. So, so cool. Or something. Um, you. I don't know, yeah, that was weird. Anyway, <laughs> welcome <laughs> to my <room. laughs> Oh, she spat all over her notebooks. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's oh, coffee no. on the notebook. Welcome <laughs> to the most professional Dungeons and Dragons stream on the internet. <laughs> We're here for five hours today, folks. It's so, five hours well. let's, let's talk about that right now while Rhiannon is recovering. <laughs> 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 it looks ye olde now. Yeah, it's got ye olde coffee stain on it. <laughs> you know when you were a kid and you cracked and crafted it? I wasn't prepared for that. I thought it was safe. <laughs> You're never safe. <laughs> <laughs> Not with old right. Marky Humes around. Five hour extravaganza, Mark. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, so, uh, about yourself. <laughs> old Mark Hume. <laughs> no, I, I seem like, no, it wasn't about that. It was when she said you're not safe. I was mainly implying that I say dumb things at the worst time. Uh, mm. Carry on. You do. <sighs> I smell like my work. One big thing <laughs> to mention today is immediately after this <laughs> stream. <laughs> Immediately after this Immediately. stream, you want to go over to twitch.tv forward slash DD because we will be streaming another DD show. Yeah. Straight after this, that's right. Straight after this. Five hours of DD, but it's over on twitch.tv forward slash DND. We will host it here on Yogs and on High Rollers, but ideally, obviously, if you head over there and watch it, that'd be grand. It's a brand new mini series and it's called Lightfall's <laughs> Descent. We are going back to the Lightfall characters as they are taken to the Nine Hells. To so the first of the Nine Hells, Avernus. Uh, it's in partnership with Wizards of the Coast and their brand new module book, Baldur's Gate, sent into Avernus. Um, it is the quest to recover Trelemar's soul. The yeah. first episode is available on our YouTube, so obviously don't watch it now because you're gonna watch this stream. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you should check it out. So that's immediately after this on twitch.tv forward slash DD. Go and check it out. We're gonna be streaming even longer today. We really wanna kind of bring the High Rolls community to the Wizards D&D channel, show them the, the wonders of our wonderful community. Yes. So come and watch us. Also, great to see the Lightfall characters again. Yes. Yeah. They're level 15, it's gonna be a high level adventure. Mm. It's gonna be really exciting. Rihanna's got a brand new character for it. She debuted in... Uh, debuted. Debuted. <laughs> debuted. I told you it's gonna be five hours. Debuted uh, that character. Creepy. She debuted the character at D&D Live, uh, so you can check that out there as well. Yeah, but also if you missed that episode, we are gonna do a recap. Uh, we'll do a quick recap. Yeah. We'll do a quick recap so, at the beginning. So come and watch it. It's going to be great. Oh, Even if you've not watched the Lightfall, it's going to be really good. I mean, I understand. Really I understand the pain. Was. <laughs> you're stuck. Mm. Uh, Chris Trot, <laughs> it's time for you to tell us about our sponsor. Oh my God, that's a lot of words. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Welcome back to the Beyond Show with your host Chris Trot. Woo! As you know, our five remaining guests of subpar intelligence Wait. have pitted against Whoa. other contestants in various hey. grueling tasks what? of athletics, acrobatics, and yeah. constitution to figure out who is beyond the others. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but now, we're down to the final round of quick fire questions. <laughs> just five of you remain after okay. the harrowing gladiatorial arena that you just faced. Yeah. Tom was particularly barbaric, yeah. tearing apart several contestants and breaking several sportsmanship rules. Man, I ate your brain. <laughs> Thankfully, our adjudicators allowed him to continue, so thank you for that. First to the buzzers, everybody. Please do not interrupt the question because that's part of the sponsorship. Okay. Here we go! Yeah. Number one. What is the official digital tool set of Dungeons and Dragons? Don't interrupt the question! Don't interrupt the question! Fifth edition! Tom, the killer. D&D Beyond! Correct! Yeah! What is the correct URL to access this tool set? Don't look at the answers. D and ampersand D beyond.com, D N D becoming.com, or D N D beyond.com. Yeah! I think I was the aggressor again. What? So that aggressive. Is bullshit. Uh, three, C. Correct. Two Woo! points for Tom D the Beyond. Killer. Yeah. Yeah. What tool set recently acquired the Acquisitions Incorporated sourcebook filled with exciting adventures, extra races, background, don't interrupt, spells, monsters, and more? Yeah! 
I don't actually fucking... Mark? <laughs> yeah, that it would be D&D Beyond. No way. Correct! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Tom the Slayer is currently in the lead with two points, Mark with one, everyone else uh, is I'm failing. Kill all you. You've done great so far, so Don't let's kill take me. it up or not. Please spare me! Elimination round. Anyone that answers incorrectly is eliminated. <laughs> what site makes it extremely easy to build your own character in D&D? D&D ah! Beyond. Correct. <laughs> what site recently added in Counter Builder Alpha to make battles extremely efficient? <laughs> I think that was an interruption, you're eliminated. Fuck! <laughs> Tom the Aggressor. Uh, D&D, 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 What's the best player in High Rollers? Chris <laughs> Troll! Correct! Bonus <laughs> five points there. What's, well, the official yeah. tool set? What's the official tool set High Rollers uses to play D&D? <laughs> the Aggressor, you're really Come great. on! D&D Beyond. Correct. Yes. What site allows Mark one. Humes, DM of High Rollers, to easily track his campaign <laughs> and add his own homebrew, homebrew creation? Where is it? <laughs> It's a trick question. Mark. Oh, uh, it's not D&D a trick Beyond. question, it is D&D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the best character in High Rollers? <laughs> Tom the Aggressor. Lucius Fury and Adam Anastasia. No. What? Who, Who has, has the, the best, best character? character? Be- Eliminated! No! Yeah. He's gone! <laughs> Chris Correct, Mark Humes, 10,000 points. Who's the worst at remembering their stuff for High Rollers? Yeah. <laughs> Chris Trot. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Ten points there. Who recently started Critical Role's My Little Pony one shot as DM? Uh, Kim. Mark Hughes. Yes. I'm getting a bit more enthusiasm. Who is the absolute best at uh, keeping the stream going? Uh, Mark Hughes. <laughs> Incorrect. Eliminated. <laughs> you have so many points. No. Eliminated. Oh. That means it's just. Rhiannon. No. Oh, what? Oh. Well, Sid! Oh! oh! Everyone's getting okay, eliminated. We're all gone. No, you're still in, Tom. No, I was no, eliminated. eliminated. Oh, was you? Yeah. Right, everyone's out. We're out. out. We're out. Finish the sponsorship. Lose? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can you skip that whole paragraph and get to the end? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for playing the Beyond Show. <laughs> Check out dndbeyond.com now. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Scott. Thank you. You gave him too much power. I've given him way too much yeah. power. But thank you, DD Beyond, for your wonderful yeah. sponsorship. Cheers. And I hope you enjoy this horrible mess. Uh, last thing, <laughs> before we get into the actual game that everyone's here for, we've got some brand new merch. <laughs> Sadly, we don't have any actual shirts here because Mike didn't order them in time. Yeah. So we don't have them here. Pretend. Uh, but you can check the vi- you can check the pictures out on store.yogscast.com. We've got brand new Paladin and Century themed t-shirts. Uh, they're really, really fucking cool. We'll show they them off are next week. Also limited edition. Mm. And you can get them on a bundle deal for £39, I yes, believe. Yes, both shirts. So, um, yeah. Store.yogscast.com. They are gorgeous. <laughs> Store.yogscast.com. Don't forget to use code HIGHROLLERS. You get 10% off your whole order <laughs> on the Yogscast store. I went deaf for a second. Uh, you get 10% off your whole order on the Yogscast store, including other stuff, not just HIGHROLLERS stuff. Yogcon use code HIGHROLLERS. Yogcon merch, loads of stuff. Nice. Use it. Uh, and that's it. Patreon. With that, are we ready? Sid. Run the video. Roll that intro. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Anyway. Hello. Welcome Rhiannon's back. Now. Oh, <laughs> Welcome back to Aroes. <laughs> a brief recap on what happened last time. Yeah. Not a lot. Days have passed since the battle inside Bright Flame Abbey. So much has changed for the survivors, but for Sentry, the Guardian Paladin. There's been only darkness. The rest of the group have seen portals to other worlds, narrowly avoided a demonic invasion, and met the tyrant Callus, who killed the goddess Siaska. 
Transported across the sea to a new land, you made allies and helped settle an undead threat in the ruined fortress, the Night Eye. But in doing so, you lost another friend. Quillek Ad Kalar died at the hands of a servant of Hadar, an entity of endless hunger and consumption. You made your way to a place called the Midwife's Forge, a temple to Velena, the goddess of craft and life. Having restarted the forge and dealt with the traitorous goblin, Sentry was revived with numerous improvements and greater knowledge of her home Solvin. However, one friend is not there to greet her. And I believe that we ended last time with Sentry asking a very important question, which was... Where's Quill? <clears throat> Yeah, you look around, you see some unfamiliar faces amongst those that you do recognize. Uh, a small gathering of goblins, but no Quillock. I flutter over. Lucius is also a fairy man. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see a lot has changed. Um, Hello, Sentry. Uh, hi. It is so good to see you again. It's, it's really good to see you, Please Lucius. Please follow me and I hold out a hand just to guide you along. Okay. I'm gonna flutter. Like hovering off the ground. Can everybody else follow me too? Please? Uh, do you want me to come with you? I can only fly for up to an hour. <laughs> Smeek looks up at the rest of you, this tiny little goblin in his little tattered leathers and bones. Isn't that guy meant to be with the other ones? Ah! Smeek? Yeah. Just jumps up and down on the spot. Smeek, stay. Well, he listens, at least. Uh, Honestly, I don't know. You can stay at the back. Sure. If you don't mind. It's very respectful of you, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll... You carry on. Now it's been... You long. can look after Smeek. As we're moving along, I'm just talking to Sentry. So as you know, it's been a long, arduous journey. And we brought you back. That's fantastic, right? It's, it's wonderful. The last thing I remember, I was with Nova in the Bright Flame Abbey, and I'm glad you're okay. How, how did you... Escape? Where, um, where are we? Are you aware that you died? I, I remember seeing nothing. I remember just being in... It's like, it was like I powered down, but there was nothing there. It's for, for Sentry, it's been moments, you know. It's, it's, you don't really remember, like, endless darkness. Yeah. You just remember almost like closing your eyes, very similar to when you shut down the yeah. first time and then just waking up as if little time had passed. To us, you died. You died protecting me. And we've been, we've been, well, we've been looking for ways to bring you back. We're not in Callie's rest anymore. Um, okay. We're not in Savona anymore. Where, where are we? Look, there's a lot we need to tell you, but you need to know about Quill first. Okay. And I've guided her to the... Oh, you take her out through the main forge, out cart. to the entrance, yeah, to cart. the cart. Yep. Yeah. Um, you can see Skaldi's just finished casting Gentle Repose on... This is our uh, different Skaldi, who's been helping keep you and Quill preserved. Um, preserved, of course. And you, you recognise the symbols on Skaldi. Her holy symbol is that of Kalara, the goddess of death. And she looks up and she's like, ah, I'm so glad that you've come back to us, uh, Guardian. I didn't know you, but uh, your friends speak quite highly, but I'm afraid that... Um, and then she kind of steps to the side, and you can see laid in the back of this wagon, um, wrapped up tightly, kept comfortable, is the body of, of Quillek. Um, Quill. Uh, he... Well, your friends can likely uh, explain a bit more about the circumstances that led you, but Quillek died fighting uh, a very powerful woman who was doing something very bad. She was corrupting undead and fueling some sort of dark ritual. I asked everyone to help me in exchange for helping you. Okay. And... Quillek died in that final battle. Oh, Quill. Um, but your friends seem very committed to bringing him back the same way that they brought you back. Yes, and also, we've got you back to help us. So, it's all going to be great. Okay, okay. So don't worry, this is just a temporary thing, like, like you. He just closed his eyes and then he'll he'll wake up and, and nothing would have happened. But I, I understand I'm a construct. You know, I, I don't work like 
you people, you guys do, and what if you can't? What if it's, what if it's different? What if this is it? We can, Sentry. You are actually the problem for us. We didn't know what to do because you're a construct, but he's now a Kokra. We, we have a better idea, and, and we have some ideas of where to go as well. Okay. So it's going to be okay, I promise. Okay. I'm, I, 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 have, I know you guys can do it. You've brought me back. You, there's no doubt you can bring Quill back. There's no doubt we can do it now. We're a team, and I'm sure we can do it. It's... Put it this way, Sentry. When you died... I, I was lost too. I thought it was my fault because you came to protect me. So I know what you're feeling right now, okay? I know, I know you're probably blaming yourself and if anything the last few days have taught me, it's not your fault. It's not your fault and if we could fix you with me in a state, then we can definitely fix Quill. I'm so glad you're okay. I'm, I'm so, so glad sorry. You're okay, Nova. I'm so Don't sorry, be sorry Nova. <laughs> but I'm so happy you're back as well. I'm glad you're. Here. I'm glad you're here. I was terrified in that, Abby. I was terrified. I didn't think I'd get to you in time. I'm so glad. I'm so okay. glad it was me and not you. I'm just gonna give you a big old hug. Big old hug for Nova <laughs> as well. And I'll be like, thank you, thank you so much for everything. Thank you, thank you, and oh, you. Oh, you guys are amazing. I, I can't believe you did that. You must have gone through so much to bring me back. I, I don't know where we are, and Lord knows where, where we are in Savona. Oh, it's, even if we are in Savona, where are we? I don't know. I think that There's... you have a lot to discuss, but I just want to let you know that I've completed the ritual in Quillex, so there's ten more days. Um, Thank you. I'm going to... Uh, I'll take uh, the clack and we'll we'll create some distance. Um, you should head inside the inside the forge. It's a bit more secluded and quiet. I'll keep the goblins busy work or something. Uh, she kind of gives you a nod and starts leading Scorb away. Now we've also got Piri, uh, who, who helped. Yeah. Get us hey. to the forge. Uh, Hi, Piri. Hey, uh, yeah, I, I tried to help the team out. I've been more of a hindrance than anything, to be honest. Uh, well, I'm sure you haven't. You've, we, the, everybody's got here, and they're all in one piece. Yeah, and uh, I guess Araya's not part of the original group either. Do you know her? Araya? I'm just like waving to Araya. You're going to have to play them both. You're going to have to play them both. We shake hands, and I agree. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What does Orion say? <laughs> and how long is this conversation? Oh, so you're the famous Guardian Sentry. Oh, it's amazing to finally meet you in person. You're so much taller standing up, I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> this whole stream is three hours of Rihanna and Tom to herself. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Yeah. Let's go get something. It's a journey. Oh. But, uh, uh, what, what's the actual plan now? Like, we use the forge for Sentry, we use what for Quill? I don't think we can use it for Quill. Maybe we can talk to the, the Golem, the Guardian, about some advice. The problem is, is we don't have a power source anymore. But Quill's not a construct and it's Higher. a completely different... But, uh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> He's it's different. So, he's a birdie, and we can fix him in a birdie way. Valley of Storms. He's... Higher. He's... Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, who put on the cursed magic item? <laughs> you put it in front of me! <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty! <laughs> Basically, Hesper had great plans for birdie, and I don't think it's going to end with him dying to a cursed woman. There was the idea to go to the Valley of Storms and use whatever is creating the thunderstorms to help. Maybe that would be powerful enough to help with a spell, but we need to find someone who can cast the spell. Well, that's why I was asking about the magic power, how much power is actually in the storms, and you then immediately thought I was, you know, part of Starbane's whole thing. Star, what Starbane? What? Hang uh, on, hang on. Um, ooh, uh, Sentry, there's yeah. a lot more to the Abbey than you know so far. How, how did you escape? After... Uh, hey, should I be around for this? You normally shoo me away when you talk about this stuff. You might as well stay for this bit. Fine, And perfect. you, Araya. 
after yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> after you um, passed away, everyone else was unconscious. I think I was the only one still stable at this mm, point. Lucius was up as well. Was he? No, I think they knocked him out to take him captive. Well, yeah, but Lucius and Quill were with you when you surrendered. Yeah. So we they took us down into the underneath the abbey where we were trying to get to. Okay. And the power source that was in there, the abbotess was being manipulated by something more powerful than she realized. Okay. The only reason that we got out is because Vala is very sneaky and she pushed some buttons on a portal. It, it was an archway. An archway. Stuff that we don't really understand. She typed something into it and a portal opened and Starbane came through it. You, uh, you met Star... No. You met Starbane? It turns out Starbane is Vala's father. Uh, and Siaska is her mother. So... Uh, or at least that's is our that true? Well, Siaska taught Starbane the ritual to create her. So we had a child of Siaska with us the whole time. This is why people have been trying to get to Vala. And Vala surrendered herself for us to be safe. But Callus didn't want us around, so we're on a different continent. We're on he sent us. He sent us here so that we didn't interfere with whatever plans he has in Savona. So just so you know, you do know Voxar because it's where you met Quill. It's where you woke up and you first met Quill. On the shores, he found you kind of like locked into your old stasis form. So I'm, I'm back where Quill found me. Oh, I We're back to thing. where we started, but Quill's not here. For now. For now, for now, for now. For now. But you you came face to face with Starbane. Yes. Yes, we did. It was terrifying. But he sent us away and, thanks to Valor, gave us the power source to bring you back. Hang, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. What, how, what power source? What? You have a star in you, I think? F from a star power? Star no, Nova, you know that's incorrect. The, the star is in the forge, and the forge basically re-energized Sentry. But you the star is in the forge. a full star in your <laughs> Sentry. Um, technically not quite correct. <laughs> okay, You're I was about to question. Be that person. The star's in the forge. The forge is what brought you, brought you back. And so, and, and how did you get the, the star power? That was part of the deal with Callus to get away. Oh, yeah, 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 you did mean that, Starbane. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just in case I was a different Starbane, yeah. you would... Okay. So... Okay, hang on, this is a lot to take in right now. Yeah! He's now on a Rois, and he's... Uh, hang on! ...spreading his armies... What? ...exponential rates, and... <sighs> so... Don't look at me, Mike. I'm waiting. I don't I'm actually waiting. know <laughs> what he's done so far. Because, so you know, on, <laughs> on account of the whole being banished to another place so that he could continue with his evil bidding thing. Yeah, probably Nova. just destroying yeah, the place. Yeah, so. yeah, but we don't know for sure. Nova, what? For podcast listeners, Nova very shyly put her hand up on what she said. Um, I might actually know what he's up to. What? What? How? He, uh... So wait, are you guys in league with him now? Because you were no. trying to... <sighs> okay. He, um... Uh, he spoke to me last night. What? What? Yeah... How? How is he speaking to you? Can he see what we're doing? I don't think so. I look around. No. Um... It was when I was asleep. Oh. So... Are you sure you didn't, weren't dreaming? I definitely was not. My dreams are normally about spaceships and... I mean, he does That's own kind of, a lot of yeah. spaceships. It was definitely him. It was a lucid conversation I had with him, and I remember it clear as day. It's different to what my dreams are. I promise okay. you. I had... That's terrifying. Yeah! What did he say? First and foremost, Vala and Arvel are fine. They're fine. Vala's fine. She's safe. 
Um, he's been teaching her things. Um, apparently she still likes the daggers. I guess mm. for that. Um, Isn't she like 14? Arvel. Uh, okay. He was kind enough to tell me that Arvel was okay. Is that responsible? Um, but I, I might send a message to him soon. I don't like Starbeans. Well, we don't know what his term for fine is, really. Valor could be... I don't want I, to say, but you know. Look, I know he's this big bad thing, right? Yes, yeah, but really bad. but no, but he loves Valor. That much is clear. He genuinely loves Valor. I don't know. We met him once. I'm not. I'm not really. I can't. Gonna... I can't. I don't know how to prove it to you. But in the conversation, any time he talked about her, there was love there. He wasn't lying. I promise. Either way. You might have been Brookstone. Oh, not Brookstone Either again. way. <laughs> Sentry just like holds her head. Sentry, don't worry. Pat, pat. <laughs> he said it, he didn't actually do it. He just said it. <laughs> pat, pat. Pat, pat. Glitter does weird things at the moment. Anyway, oh, God. <laughs> our focus shouldn't be to try and save the world because ultimately we don't know how without Quill. Um... <laughs> We need Quill. I know, but there's and we more. we can't do anything without that. There's more, and I really need you guys to okay. listen to this, okay? Fine. Remember when I brought up Hadar before? So, Sentry, the, the woman we fought when Quill fell, she was a servant of Hadar. Um, okay. And, and oh, I, no. I, I asked Starbane about this, because Starbane was going on about like how he has these big plans, and nobody but him knows what to do. And I kind of just put two and two together. It's not about him conquering Aroas. It's about him stopping Hadar. And he he said he said that that's what that was his that was his plan. Okay, actually, small point. He does want to conquer Aroas, but I think he wants yeah. to use Aroas to defeat Hadar. That's still conquering the entire world and the fact that But he... here's the thing, if we stop him, if we stop Starbane, Hadar is going to be there. But if we don't stop Starbane, then the whole world is just pretty much fucked. Let's be honest. We'll be like he sent us to a different to continent to stop to, us yes. from stopping Then him. imagine how much more powerful Hadar is. We need Starbane on our side. We need Siaska. St St um, Starbane took everything from me. He destroyed Solvin. He tore Rois apart. My, my purpose, my family, my home is it's gone. And I get that, but Hadar is going to be a thousand times worse. We can't let either of them do what they want to do. But if there's a way we can get Hadar, uh, uh, Starbane to, to work with the people of Aroas, to share his knowledge, maybe we have a chance. I just think he has this power. Maybe he can be reasoned with, especially with Vala. Vala's his weak point, right? Lucius, you get the odd sense that someone is watching and listening. What? Present or like a or in the perhaps like a magical like something something like a some like a magical feeling that you are being observed. Can we stop? Can we stop, please? It's it's not helping. It's not helping at all. Us talking about this, we can't do anything right now without Quill. I refuse to go along with any plans until we get Quill back. That's fine. Yeah. So it's pointless talking about this until Quill's here to get his input. I'm not, I'm not saying like... And we should really stop talking about it right now. Obviously, Just trust me. Obviously it's trust about... Trust me, please. Trust me. Okay. I just want you guys to know that Hadar is real. And it's terrifying. It is scarier than Starbane, and you should start thinking about that. Take me seriously. As a quick addendum, you don't get the sense that you're being observed, you get the sense that somebody was trying to observe you. And with a kind of force of your will, you, sh you can nullify the spell, and so it doesn't occur. Okay, so... To be upfront and honest, yes, I'm taking on board the Hadar thing, 
That's very serious. And I know you're serious because you do this weird furrowed brow thing. And it's terrifying, much like Hadar. So we should all take note of that, put a pin in it, deal with the consequences of world-ending situations later. Someone was trying to listen to this. Oh. Someone was trying to magically force their way into observing us. Starbang? I don't know, but if, if it was him, he'd succeed, right? He's very powerful. Also, where is this conversation taking place? Are you guys still outside? Are we in the forge? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you're like slightly inside. I don't think you're in the main Not forge. Not in the middle. You're in like the yeah. bit where Vezik had like his table and stuff. So you're in like a broken down, partially ruined bunkhouse maybe, or storeroom. Or is this um, through the broken entrance? Yeah, okay. through the broken entrance, yeah. The, the attendant hasn't cleared out the main forge yet. Yeah. I've had a thought. Why would Callus do this? Why, why, why would Callus speak to you? As, you know, we, we, you know, I, we tried, we want to stop Callus, right? That was our original intention. Why would Callus want us to continue? If we were, if, as you say, face to face with him, why would he give you the star to bring me back? If because of Vela. The only reason he let us live was because he knew that if he did anything to us, then Vala would never go with him. Okay. I told you, he loves Valor. However, you have a point. We are no of no consequence to him now no. that he's got Valor. I have two theories. One, it's because we finally used the star, because there's no coincidence this happened after we used the star. Mm. Two, he told me that he realizes I have pieces of Tiangong. Oh. And it turns out he has other pieces of Tiangong. So there's a connection. And he so, wants more power. And look at me. I don't know. Unless you have a question about the world or maybe, about what's going on. Maybe Vala asked him? Maybe. Isn't it best to assume the worst and then hope for the best? That way we can protect ourselves? I don't know. That's what Daddy used to say. Sid's really going to tell me the music on this scene. Mm. <laughs> Well, I've, as I've travelled with you guys in the past, I know that nothing's as clear as it is. Also... There's always something else to it. You're very heavy. <laughs> oh, I do apologise. But we kept you in pristine condition. Excuse I was me, who was carrying most of yeah. It looked like Ayla was struggling, that's all I, I was concerned. I, mean, I couldn't even Thanks. pick up Fine. Quill. Honestly, my strength has probably improved <laughs> from that. It was like a nice workout. <laughs> For me, so oh, don't even guys. worry. Don't mention it. But plus, you, plus no credit. Birdie, though. <laughs> yes, quite the burden. Anyway, Sentry, <laughs> burden. Um, we also have information Good. about you. Life is better. If you don't want worry. it? I don't know if you want to know now worry. or later. I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to know. What? What did you know? So before the forge brought you back, there was a message okay. from you. Um, it was from a different voice. Okay. Um. Yeah, it, it wasn't it, your voice, it was some other person. It's a deep masculine voice. It said, you are a protector for Sylvan royalty, and that was your original mission, mm -hmm. but your new mission is to seek out the Prime and take control of the Prime Matrix, and this mission was assigned by the Prime itself. It mentioned the mines of Volcanos. Oh, the attendant told you this. Oh, this wasn't the message from Sorry. before was different. The attendant told you this. Okay, so yeah, this is what the attendant told us before they brought you, she brought you back. I'll take you to meet her later if you want. I'd love that, yeah. Um, but apparently there's a secret lab under the ocean. The I don't ocean. know if that rings any bells. But... It's been a week, but when, um, when you were being revived, you did get flashes of your memory back and you remember seeing Volcanos, which was a known thing in Solven. It was part of the domain, um, the exalted domain of Solven. Volcanos was, a, at the time, it was a dormant volcano, but they used its geothermal energy to power a lot of Solven's magical technology. And there was mining, there was mines, there were research stations there, and it was like a known part of Solven. When you were washed away, as the Astoria royal family teleported away, 
you saw that volcano beginning to erupt and you watched it kind of erupt and being kind of like all the city beneath it was being washed away by the by the ocean as it was plunged beneath the waves. Um, and you remember that clearly. I find the male voice thing. So this was when we had Sentry in... Um, we did the Steve Temple of Kalara. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it said, if this Sentry unit has fallen in battle, it must be restored. Find the Prime. This Sentry unit is one of a kind. Bring it to the City of Glass. My messengers will show the way. And it was a male voice. Mm. Mm. City of Glass. Isn't it okay. Is the attendant a guide, maybe? We should talk, you should talk to her. I, w I will do. This is very I can nice. Use the forge oh, again chaos. because javelin, hammer, something. Piri is also like holding up his little watch. Yeah. I'm sure that she can talk while she's working. Hey, wait, did you I'm going to go speak to her. Do you say messengers guide the way? Messengers will guide the way. Yeah. Aren't they Aaron Croker messages? Messengers? Quill, does, maybe. Oh. Does, does he know about it? No. Well, we've, I'm sure we've he mentioned knew about the, the City of voice, Glass yeah. before. Yeah, he heard that, but nobody knows where the City of Glass is. Nobody's heard of it. I think it's an old, old place that may no longer be in the same place. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? Go into the forge. And yeah, you can walk back into the, the forge. The, the, um, the as you re-enter the forge now, where before it was still and quiet, this strange mix of worked stone inlaid with metals hums with power and you can now see the central console this central forge uh a dark metallic stone glimmering with power with runes and crystals and laid in it and in its central core like a beam of light where sentry appeared when she was reborn when she was repowered um the attendant this enormous sort of 12 13 foot tall stone statue um is just pacing around the room you can see it occasionally checking you know, these strange uh, crystalline rune plates where there is all sorts of runic information and seems to just be analysing it. Um, but doesn't seem to react until spoken to. Look, there she is. Um, attendant, hello, hi. You see it kind of straighten up, turn around. Ah, greetings, mortals. How may I may be of service? I was just wondering. Buggy. If you could, um... <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering if there's anything that you can do to put magic into weapons to make them more powerful. Of course. Thank you. This forge's purpose was to assist with the rebuilding of guardians, but also mending and repowering magical relics of the war and the Starborn Alliance. Is there something specific you would like me to repower? Uh, how much power is left in the forge? The forge is approximately is running at approximately 25% of its power capabilities. However, this will slowly restore over time now that my power banks have been replenished. Right. What was it at when you restored Sentry? A hundred. Oh. Restoring a guardian to life consumes considerable amounts of power. It is not usually done. However, you were kind enough to restore power to the forge. Thank you. It will be significant time before I am able to perform this ability again. What is time to you? Time is nothing but a measure of time it takes to complete projects. Like this one? Is there something specific? Uh, hey, uh, I have a... I have a hammer. I don't want to jump the queue or anything. I'm jumping... Look, I, I helped you guys out a whole lot. I got your friend back, or at least helped with that in some way. I mean... I don't want to say repay the favor, but um, I kind of, you know, I kind of want to get this watch fixed. I kind of want to upgrade my weapon so that I can keep, you know, fighting things, defeating Starbane, defeating Hundadar, like all these things, you know, it's just... You so have cool. two projects you wish to complete. Yes. That is acceptable within my power parameters. There you go. Both fine. I will have a small amount of power left for a third smaller task. Is there See? anything there you, you require? Go. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> Are you having difficulty? Um, I feel better than ever. Very well. Thank you. Can you remove cursed items from people? Is this 
she kind of like looks over towards Lucius. It is possible. I do not have that ability myself, but I could create a scroll which would contain a spell allowing someone capable to perform that ritual. It's a blessing. Lucius, do you really want this crown to come off? It's a blessing. Insight. He's never going to say... You can't take it off? No. I no. want to roll an insight check. Hey, was that I know you're very strong, but this Ugh, the bad. attendant holds out a hand and you kind of feel this wave, this line kind of pass up and down you. The crown is a powerful fey relic. It contains a curse which prevents it from being removed. It is not harmful, however, the physical changes will not go away until it is complete until it is removed from the person. And why should they? And I flick my hair. Your rainbow sparkly hair. Glitter. Glitter sprays everywhere. Attendant, oh. is part of this crown's curse to make the wearer not want to remove it? That does seem to be a part of the curse. It also changes their personality slightly <laughs> to make them more <laughs> mischievous, more fey like. Hey, so was that, uh, was that Lucius saying that, or was that Lucius saying that? It also empowers their natural persuasive ability, grants them some sort of rulership over other fey beings, and also allows them to replicate the effects of several spells. I polymorph Piri. <laughs> In two? I can't, because I've got <laughs> But I would <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Squirrel! Uh, uh, hey, is Creating such a scroll would be a very minor use of my power. I should be able to complete those three tasks. Okay, does that destroy the item or uh, just nullify the curse? It would nullify the curse, but also remove many of its properties. Right, okay. But Some, would however, would remain. Why would you? I mean... So many reasons. I've been... I can fly. You can. But your voice, Lucius, your voice, it's like... It's just piercing. What's wrong with my voice? It just Ooh, it goes right through you, you know? Would Daddy want to see you like this? That's true. Oh. <laughs> I stopped flying. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst your friend makes his decision, would you like me to begin on the other projects? Yes, they will not please. take much time. Yeah, hey, uh, so I can this. process one at a time. Do this now, Hammer. first. Hammer and javelin. Uh, make a troll initiative for me. The two, yes. both of you. Oh, yikes. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Eight. So, Eight. as she begins holding her hand, Ayla's already slammed the two items into the giant stone palm as you're like, ah, and you're like, getting the straps <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. You wish to combine these two effects. I should warn you, it will change some minor properties of both items. As long as I still have a hammer at the end of it? Of course. Then I'm fine. The attendant holds them up to this central beam of light around the main forge, and you watch as the javelin and the hammer kind of lift up from her hands and begin spiraling around each other inside this glowing beam of light. The attendant places her hands on the main console of the forge, and you watch as everything begins to rise in power. This large metal protector slams down over the beam of light and from inside you can see it speeding up, spinning faster and faster until the light begins like... What? Howling Gale is evolving. <laughs> <laughs> and then after perhaps only a few moments you hear this kind of like... <laughs> the metal really retracts. Quick. And in its place is the Howling Gale looking almost identical. The javelin is completely gone. Engraved on the metal parts of the hammer's head, you see lightning bolts of the same fashion of the javelin. And the gemstone at its center now crackles with blue lightning. Ah, that's cool. The attendant holds the hand out and it... Whoosh, and then she brings it down and offers it back to Ayla. Um, <laughs> if you go ahead and remove Weapon the Howling reading. Gale from your items, and you can add the Howling Tempest. Whoa! <laughs> Very cool. nice. well, I, I have transformed the item into the Howling Tempest. This was once a commonly used weapon amongst the warriors of Zephyr in the Starborn Alliance. Where do I find that, Mark? Uh, you just go add items and then search for the Howling, and it should come up, the Howling Tempest. So it was the two-handed Thor hammer. Kind of. It has different, slightly, it doesn't... Root hammer. Yeah, it's kind of different. It's, yeah, you'll see. It's not the same, damn it. You got it's it? It's not the same. Add. So it's a plus one hammer, but it also has a action where it's kind of similar to the javelin. You can blast mm -hmm. lightning out of it. Would you like to name the Howling Tempest? <laughs> um. <laughs> as an action, you can hurl the Howling Tempest as if it had the throne property. property. 
it transforms into a maelstrom of lightning. It blah, basically blah, looks the same yeah. as the javelin. You basically can throw it and it does the exact same thing. Oh, oh, has it got damage dope. increase or anything, or is it...? No, well, it does. Um, it's a plus one weapon now as well. Oh, I see. So it's plus one so to hit and damage. Chance, Immediately nice. after the attack, the weapon flies back to your hand. Yeah. Boom! Thor! That's <laughs> cool. Yeah. Not the same. This is a rose. Oh, uh, yeah, hey, uh, should be way easier than that, just fix it. She holds it. a hand up, brrr, scans it. Interesting, this item contains powerful teleportation and planar magics. Yep. This has been creating using unusual methods. Fascinating. Holds it up to the main central column of light, floats off, kind of goes into the main center, places her hands again, spins up, and then as it returns, she takes it back. Um, and it's fixed. You can see the same, <laughs> the gemstone in the middle is, is fixed. As um, I found it. Yeah, and she returns it. The item should now be functioning as it was previously. You mean takes me to random places and meets a load of uh, frankly unkind people? No, it allows you to teleport hey! back to a number of designated locations, taking up to eight creatures with you. Eight creatures. Hey, so uh, kind of okay. wanted to drop that one myself, but she got there first. <laughs> I might be able to help you one last time. Um, so this, uh, it's like locked into a load of different places. Um, sky cities, things like that. I can press it now, I'll go back. I'll go back to the agency, I'll just do my thing. And What's the pretend... agency called? They are called... The <laughs> <laughs> Cypher Academy. The Cypher Academy. Hmm. Uh, keep that secret, you kept your secret with me. You keep know, the whole secret. star bank. Oh thing. yeah, I'll keep a secret. Don't write it down, don't write it down. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> you can teleport to... Sky cities? Well, so this is how it works. That's what I've been trying to tell you, but you kept intercepting with, you know, calling no, me No, you've never told me. You've never said that you would tell you us this. Mentioned. No. You said, mm, it does things, and then you were very secretive about it. I was very secretive because us. it's a secretive thing. You're not meant to just mm -hmm. tell everyone mm -hmm. about this place. You know, what I do, this is my job, by the way. There's a team of people who want to restore magical items, bring them back from ruins and, and dangerous places. And we bamf in, like you said, bamf, grab the stuff and bamf out. I have a team of two other people, lovely people. You did tell us about the two other people, actually. Exactly. Not the rest, though. So you're a good guy. Yeah, I'm not working with Starbane. You kept saying I was brookstoning you. I still don't really know if I'm using that right. We've been brookstoned a lot. Look at the yeah. goblin. I you know. did use it right, to be fair. But. but what I'm trying to say is, I'm a good guy. I've been I've been helping you this entire time, and you've just been nothing but. Well, I've always believed in you. I just got here. You not so much. Arya's great too. Johan, hell, he was a great guy, but he just vanished. Sentry's a good read on a character, so I believe what she thinks. Also, she's a god. She's huge. Yeah, she's really cool. But anyway. Aww. What this does is me and my team, we jump in to a place. We were aiming for somewhere near the Hawkstone place nearby, and it took me to the wrong place. I guess the right place for your benefit, because you know, I've been so useful, but <laughs> um, I then press it again, and it will take me back to the Academy. Well, or several other designations. You know that there's a, a number of locations you can go to. Yeah. There's like set safe houses you can return to. Do you have the names of these places? I do. <laughs> What's that advice? Want me to tell you? <laughs> I'm opening it up on my watch. <laughs> uh, tell me. It's uh, Gusthaven, Horizon, Oh Inistan, shit, he could go home! And Vortensar. Vortensar! Yes. So what I'm saying is, if you're looking for someone to, you know, bring back Quill, that's powerful magic. Like, where are you going to find that? Where are you planning on finding it? <laughs> well, it's probably in Gusthaven, right? Yeah, it's very powerful magic there. I mean, you're not wrong. They're at Sky City. Like, the Sky Cities normally have very powerful mages, by their very nature. We could take you home. And we were trying with the Valley of Storms, but A, will it definitely work? B, how dangerous is it going to be? Maybe someone else will fall there, and then you'll need to find a Valley of Storms too. That is how Electric Quill Boogaloo. lost his, his arm. He lost his wing in that storm. Mm. It's a dangerous place. I'm just saying, if, if you've got the... Isn't Vordenso where you're from? Yeah, me and him. Yeah, we both came from You there. could both go home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as nice as it would be for everyone to go home. For Piri's information, is... um, if you go back to Vortensar, you go back to the Cypher Academy headquarters. 
you're not sure bringing a bunch of strangers <laughs> is really going to go very well. Mm -hmm. The other places, Gust Haven Horizon, the Amex Island, they're like safe houses. They're meant to be places you go if you can't go back to Vortensar for some reason. Yeah. So you don't have Valley Storms in your doohickey? No, they, uh, they program the thing so I can only go to the place they tell me to go and then back. And uh, I have not. How many times it. can you do that? It's once per day. Once per day. Oh, okay. Like so every other day. It recharges. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I, uh, my plan, if you know you agree with it, is maybe we just go to one of the sky cities, find someone who can heal someone, you know, bring them back, and then when all that's done, I'll head back to Vorinsar, or maybe we're already there. Probably not a good idea if we go there first, but I get out of your hair. You deal with your Starbane stuff, I pretend I didn't hear any of it, and I don't sleep very well at night. Can we go, please? Please, can we go? Sounds Please. terribly exciting, I will say. I mean, where, where, where are you thinking? Please, can we go? Charisma check. Please! <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to roll anything for your own <laughs> team. Um, how powerful is this academy that you work for? I mean, you got me on that one. I'm, I'm just... i am just been hired by them. I, I do some work for them. They give me a little bit of gold, but I don't really get involved in the politics of it all. The, the leadership, there's a load of, you know, masked figures that do most of the work. I don't know much about it. In Vornsa. Hmm. That's why I left school so early. That's what I was trying to tell you. I didn't flunk out. I joined them. Is that where they recruited you? Well, I mean, around it at that place. They didn't, like, take me out of the school like a field trip. But, uh... Interesting. If you were to tell them about Starbane and Hadar, would they help? Would they rally forces? Would they share these magical artifacts they have? Maybe, I don't know. I, I mean, possibly? Or do they work for Starbane, or are in fact gathering artifacts for him? Well, if they do, I didn't know about it, all right? I, I, <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't work for Starbane. That's why I was being a bit hesitant. Unless by proxy, in which case, <laughs> well, whoops. But didn't you want to work for Starbane? <laughs> Big old <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Big old whoops there. But you guys have already worked with him, so I guess it's okay. Did you find out, maybe? I mean... Is it above your pay grade? Way above. It sounds like it is. Also, good. like, they're super secretive. I, it's just, they do work. I get some stuff for them, they give me some money. Do they have super secret handshakes? I kind of just look at each other with like a glare and just, like, you know there's a communication going on there, but you don't really want to get involved. Fair. I wonder if Gus Taven's a good place to go. Me too. Well, I think it's great. Bearing in mind that we don't have many resources left and it could be expensive to get someone to help us out. I have oh, Daddy might have, be able to help us with money. So we also have lots money. of money. Do we? Yeah, we have lots I have of money. Ayla, you hear a <laughs> <laughs> and you see Smeet no. touching the hammer and he's just been blasted <laughs> for three lightning damage. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you know, his hair's all like stood up. <laughs> I got one out of that one! <laughs> Just to amend his stats yeah, there. Yeah, please amend yeah. his HP. Just took three damage. He's now on a four. <laughs> Bam! Oh. It's like jumping up and down like... <laughs> <laughs> Is Smeek? He's adorable. Man. No! He like bows. He still <laughs> bow. He gets on his knees. But that was hilarious. But I'm going to hold the hammer up here so he can't do it again. What, what? He's like jumping up and he can't What's get it. What's his name? Smeek. Smeek? Smeek thinks go, 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 I'm some sneak. kind of lightning god. <laughs> He's adorable! How long has he been with you? Yeah, like less, than a day, less than a day at this point. He's just here. He's taking a real liking to you. Yeah, it's weird. It's really weird. He starts doing like a little dance around Ayla with his little stick. He's got like a little... He's got like I'm just going to put my hand on his head and just stop him. <laughs> he just waves his arm, <laughs> but he stops. He stops. I think Smeek. he's been touched. He's, he's blessed. Sit. Sits. Smeek, that's thinks amazing. Ayla is a lightning goddess of some sort. Yes, I am. I'm clearly a lightning goddess. That's how Smeek it works. Smeek knows <laughs> Ayla's a goddess of some sort. I mean, I don't blame him. 
I think he he just actually wants to die. They all seem all the goblins seem to want to just die. It was really weird. Oh, yeah, really you can see Smeek is like covered in scars. Oh. Like he's been blasted by lightning. He's been attacked by some sort of animal. I think he was stabbed by one of the animated weapons. So he has like a fresh mm. like healed yeah. over cut. He he died before, and then we we brought him back, and he looked genuinely disappointed that he was still alive. Oh. So Smeek's got some issues. Yeah, he's real stubborn. Oh, Smeek, you can be alive. It's fine. You get to be with Ayla if you stay alive. You get to be with us if you stay alive. Because we're not taking you. We can't keep him. Can we keep him? No. Please. He's, he edges closer to Ayla's leg. <laughs> How do people feel? He like starts that? jumping up again. He <laughs> <laughs> just gonna. <laughs> he he goes still. As soon as you like touch his head like that, he like just. <laughs> I think he'd be great for morale. Guys, <laughs> he's a great distraction. <laughs> What's the plan? I, I can... If we go somewhere, um, we should check that Scaldi and yeah. Mariah are good to get back somewhere safe. I do not wish to interrupt cold. your conversation. Do you have any more, wor any more requests for me? The forge is now operating at 10% power. I can only perform very minor duties. I just have some questions. Of course. Sentry unit, guardian. Thank you for bringing me back. You are welcome. Um, so, I had a message. Um, I was told to seek out the City of Glass. City of Glass. Do you know anything about the City of Glass? Like where it is? Her eyes kind of flash colours for a second. I'm afraid that that location is not in my database. It is likely something that has become common terminology after the Sundering. Okay. Uh, how about Volcanos? Volcanos was once a part of the Solvin Exalted Domain, ruled over by Queen Astoria and the other Divine Exultants. You were part of her royal guard, I believe. Or her descendants. Volcanos was used as a research facility and mine. Its geothermal power powered many, much of Solvin's magical technology. I'm afraid that I have no information regarding Volcanos ever since the Sundering. Okay. And do you know anything about the Prime? What? The prime. what happened? Nothing going on. Much information around the Prime is classified. Even I do not have that information available. Valena never gifted it to me. Okay. What information I do have came from priests of Valena, who had worked alongside other Guardian projects. Mm -hmm. It is believed that the Prime is a very large, powerful Guardian, with very significant within a, a very detailed significance towards Guardian as a being. If I were to theorize, of which I am not wanton to do, I would estimate that the, guard, that the Prime is somehow connected to the creation of the first Guardians. Okay. Well, thank you. I am sorry. Ever since the Sundering, my informational databases have been incomplete, and I am unable to provide much geothermic, uh, geo, geo, geolocational information. Oh, okay. don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> we'll keep looking. <laughs> Well, you DM for three years, Tom Hazel, <laughs> and start giving me shit. <laughs> Attendant, do you remember much of being powered by the other magic? I'm afraid I do not. Whatever the dark magic that was powering the forge and myself, it kept many of my systems offline. I do know that it was growing in strength and originated from the Valley of Storms, but that is all. It was not of... Erosian in nature. Hmm. Well, that's everything. Thank you. Let's go. Bye. Very well. You do not require the scroll, as I mentioned no. earlier. It, I think that it would be wise to get it. Very unwise. I will create it for you. No. Then it is your choice if you wish to use it. Thank you. Can I choose? It's my, no. It's my curse. Nope. As you call it. If... And she, the attendant gestures towards Ayla. If the elven woman wishes me to create a scroll, that is her decision. It is up to the rest of you if you use it. Who's for scroll? Scroll, Put sure. Hand up. Nova Earth says safe. yes, and Nova knows best usually, so yes. Huh? I also yes. said yes, but fine. Very I well. gave you a compliment. 
Oh, she that's goes over down. to what you thought was like a plain part of the... Scaldian Scorp don't want it. Look, I'm trying to put their hands up. They're outside. They're not even here. Yeah, they're not here. You're gesturing to air. <laughs> I can hear them. Um, <laughs> saying no. No, no. Yeah. Uh, she goes over to a plain part of the wall and actually pulls what appears to be like a kind of hidden compartment in it. And inside you can see dozens of like small crystal vials empty. They're all empty. Um, and many scroll cases. She removes one of the scroll cases. Puts this kind of like locked container away, um, and then takes it out, and you see her hand just with a finger. She begins etching runes in, like with a glowing line, um, into the scroll, like a very faint uh, sizzle, like a burning of like onto the parchment. And within minutes, like almost you know super quickly, she's writing out you know magical runic script, and then she rolls it up and then hands the scroll to Ayla. Um, it's a scroll of remove curse. But it won't work. It's not a curse. It's a blessing. You're a curse. Hey, did you say, uh, by the way, um, yes. that there were other places like this, other forges? Yes, sister I have many sites. other sister sites. I believe... <laughs> there are five, although I also have an entry for a sixth, although I do not have its name. Curious. Huh. Do you know where that would be? Strange. The only information I have on the sixth site is the date it was created. It was created after the Sundering. Ah, I asked the right question. <laughs> the other sister sites are, <laughs> to remember, the Daughter's Forge, the Mother's Forge, this, the Midwife's Forge, the Maiden's Forge, and the Crone's Forge. There were five in total, each dedicated to Velena, and each task with a different process of creation. Do you know where they are? I did. Sadly, with the Sundering, that information it may no longer be accurate. Okay. Mm. Something to look out for. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, um... Will you be safe at 5-10% power? I'm currently at 5% of my power. I will be safe enough. My form, my physical guardian form, will still endure, even if the forge is on extremely low power. And I believe I am more than capable of taking care of beasts or creatures that wander in. I also believe that the large contingent of goblins, previously being controlled by the one you called Vesic, do not intend to leave the area. It may be possible that I can put them to task with repairs and creating basic supplies. Treat them better than he did. Of course. I am a servant of the guardian of the goddess of life. I would see it no other way. Um, incidentally, are you able to separate that web weapon that Vezik held from him? He had a weapon on him. I have already started, but I could retrieve it if you wish. Can I see it? Of course. And you know, kind of like another kind of opening on the wall opens, and she goes and retrieves this That's exactly very still attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's basically what appears to be a backpack with a large crystalline orb built into it, connected by a long cable to a cannon like device wielded in two hands. The crystalline part, the crystalline orb contains a swirling mess of red and blue and orange energy just kind of swirling around and there are a number of runes and devices powered on it but it also looks like the the crystals were on the on the grips almost as if somebody had to you know channel something through them hmm. if you want to examine it nova you can make an investigation check or an arcana check i'll make an arcana check sure please do it 19 Bam. plus 7, so uh, 26. Yeah, so this is ancient, this is this is uh, Court of Shadows tech. Mm. Um, it was primarily used historically by goblin forces. It is extremely unstable. Uh, the Looking at the crystalline backpack, if this were to be ruptured or broken, it would explode in magical force of the equivalence of, say, a fireball spell. Um, it would just detonate. Uh, what the device actually does is it allows a user with certain training to convert their own magical energy into blasts of magic. Hmm. And 
empowering, basically giving them ways to give somebody who may not be able to necessarily cast very powerful spells to use their smaller amounts of arcane energy and amplify them significantly. Wow. Pretty cool. Yeah. But it requires a specific training to use. Mm. Um, the, the, the crystalline parts on the palms connect, but then there is also you know, a mental process that's required to actually activate the item. Assuming it doesn't blow up. Yes, that is the other thing. Yeah. Could the the gem in the middle be removed safely? And the like the maybe, orb with yeah. the energy, the unstable crystalline orb. Yeah, the super orb. unstable crystalline orb. <laughs> that was a Are you question. asking the attendant, or is this your knowledge? You you looking at it like it is just attached. There there is a you could absolutely mechanically remove that orb. It's quite large. It's you know the size of a, a backpack. And like use it to power something else. Could it power Quill's return? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> It, 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 at best, it would be a sort of magical bomb, okay. but not a very powerful one. Slam dunk. Like, it's, like a fire, it's basically a fireball yeah. spell in a, in a thing. Cool. Probably should have asked before she spent all her magical energy. I think we should leave this. I'll tell everyone what I think it is, and then I'll you know, highlight the unstable part of that and be like, do we want to take it or leave it here? I mean, you guys fall over and get yourself into big scrapes a lot. I feel like carrying a big... Bomb. Yeah. Mm. Not a good idea. Safer in a lockbox. Yeah, I agree. Fair. I'll very, like, kind of sadly just put it back. Delicately. <laughs> you should use that as inspiration to make your own. Well, certainly I'll take some sketches and think about it. Mm. Yeah, sure. What's the plan? Gust Haven. Unless we attach the sentry. We can't just keep attaching. <laughs> this is a walking tank. <laughs> Literal <laughs> tank. Yeah. Just your head on the top. Flame lance. <laughs> I, just, I just need to hit the, the orb and then blow it up. Yeah. 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 As it's the, like um, destiny. I just I'll shoot the <laughs> The uh, flame Go lance, on. has that been upgraded? No. Because the armor no, works. still functions. So Basically, you can see that sentry's twice. armor has been reinforced, it's thicker than it previously yeah. was. There are more metal parts in Sentry than wooden parts now, which accounts for her higher AC. Okay, I was wondering if the flame lance no. looked any different. No, I guess for the period. Right. And also, although it's agree. technically it's a spell that she's gained as leveling up, the ability to transform Echo into a mount is part of the upgrade process. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Shall um, we speak to Scaldi about hands? And Araya. Yeah, Araya's Araya. outside with Scaldi, right? Yeah. yeah, just feeding worms to Scorb. Just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, do we all? Okay, I can take like eight people. Uh, so if they want to come with, sure. I can do that, but, uh, you know. Smeek is following Ayla. Yay! <laughs> I guess. He's trying to do it sneakily, but you see him. I guess let's go. He's like outside. shuffling along when Ayla's not looking, and then he like takes a few more steps, like in the direction she is. Oh, I can't handle it. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. He loves you. I don't want this. I mean, you could always give him an honorable death. I'm no. not gonna kill the thing. He wants it. He know. That's why I don't want to give him it. Well, he's just gonna follow you around then forever. <sighs> oh, I could try something actually. Um. Maybe it's not just lightning he likes, maybe it's just flashy things. I'll do like a produce flame and like wave it in front of his face like, Hey, huh? What do you think? Right? What does he add to attack bonuses? Plus huh? four, oh. isn't it? Plus four to hit. You're waving a fire at him. He gets his like curved, like rusty blade. He's like, Rah! and he slashes you for... 1d6 plus two. Six points of damage. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> really close to just play. You're like waving fire in his face. He's like, ah, ah, ah. "Will you fresh?" And then he disengages and runs behind Ayla. Just disengages. Yeah, he's going to disengage. But he disengages as a bonus action, and then he uses his movement to run behind Ayla, where he's like cowering. Man, I was so ready to just push that fire into his face. <laughs> oh, no. Um, what? <laughs> He's like he's got like one one arm around Ayla's leg. He's leaning around with a with a little rusty scimitar. He's like, That's the fuck I think you can give it an honorable death for a dishonorable one. What's the dishonorable one? I should throw this. I, at could, <laughs> I could probably ask him if you want in Goblin. Ask you him what? speak Goblin. I have a spell. 
Does that allow you to speak it? I think that just allows you to understand Comprehend. it. Comprehend. Yes, that doesn't allow you to speak it, I don't uh, speak it. Read it. I can write it one. down. He can't read. <laughs> yeah. He intel- absolutely can't read. He's got intelligence intel- of six. six. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if it's a picture book. It was ten. It was ten, because goblins have a natural intelligence of ten. What if it's a picture book? Like a kid's picture book. You can try. You can try and teach him to read. That sounds like something for another episode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's go talk to Scaldi. Yes. Yeah, you make your way outside. Uh, you can see Scaldi and Araya are just kind of sat there quietly talking. Um, not about anything in particular. They're just kind of talking about what's are and this gear. And you begin, and uh, Scaldi looks over like, is everything all right? Did you speak with the attendant and the, the giant golem? Lightning hammer! Yeah, she's got a lightning, <gasps> lightning hammer now. And... Oh my goodness! Oh, also, good. Perry's watch does something really cool. Yeah, my watch is fixed, uh, which means okay. I can uh, bam father here. And um, all right. it's kind of a decision of whether or not other people come with me. Because uh, I feel like Sky City is probably the best place to get a bird revived. Um, well, I mean... I, did, I promised that I would help you uh, return Quill, but uh, leaving Merskir, I'm not sure if there are people that need me. I, I thought that we would be accomplishing that here. I, I don't know if I can go all the way to Gusthaven or somewhere like that. That's a bit too far for me, I'm afraid. The only idea, other idea we had was maybe going to the Valley of Storms, but we don't know if there's someone there that can help. I mean, I can't make decisions for you, Nova. I mean, this is no, your was, friend. It was more I was wondering if you knew, if you'd heard of anything there. If or... I did, I would have mentioned it, yeah. I'm afraid. And the fact that the Midwife's Forge, this was always just a legend, you know, things that we heard about, but the fact that it's brought Sentry back is, is wonderful, but I'm afraid I don't really... There's nothing I could say. The Valley of Storms is a place that my people won't go. I mean, it's where the storms originate. They're the fiercest there. They're terrible and terrifying and there are beasts that loom around in the valley that well they don't leave it but they're dangerous really dangerous the only ones crazy enough to go into the valley are the Arakokra themselves as part of this uh, rite this passage that they take under I'm sorry it's not something I, I have uh, that that my people would go anywhere near I think you've done more than enough for us oh, yeah. I think you've done more than <laughs> enough for us you want it removed. Uh, Scaldi. Thank you. Curiosity here. Yes. Could you perform this spell and hand it this scroll? I believe so. It's it's slightly more complex <laughs> than anything I fly I've away. done. <laughs> <laughs> she just looks at it. She's like, it's a bit more complex than what I've done, but there's no... Nova could perform it. Um, oh. Anybody who has knowledge of magic could, hmm. could perform this, this scroll. Interesting. Maybe Lucius should... could, but he seems very averse to whatever this no! is. I'm very distant. <laughs> like trying to fix the <laughs> fairy fly si- now. I think it's nearing an Getting hour. Getting close. Yeah, I think so. But I float down. So. <laughs> it, we're trying. It. It's it's the fairy thing. We're trying to get rid of it. He I is obviously it. cursed not to want. You're all jealous. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it, it it will take me some time to perform. Because I'm well, not. If, uh, if well, can do it, then. she may be able to do it faster than me. Interesting. Cool. You want to do it? I think you should. I'm already trying really to like glue it into my out. spell book. It, it would, <laughs> I would. I would need several minutes to perform it. But Nova, you could perform this. Um, I would click of you. your fingers. Lucius, don't you dare speak to me like that. <laughs> you die. You must, you must be able to touch it. You must touch the item. To yes. Come on, you come up, jump. Jump over, jump! I'm gonna hold him. How <laughs> dare you! Okay, I'm gonna, gonna make a strength him. check. No, uh, Lucius, can you make an athletics check for me? Athletics, sorry. I'm oh, damn it, I rolled really You can bad. make acrobatics. <laughs> I only got a 10. 11. Because I rolled a 3. Uh, 3. Uh, 14. 14. 14. So you go in to grab him, and Lucius kind of flies up and <laughs> woo, 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 wiggles. I'm beautiful! I Don't disagree! <laughs> Kind of crappy. I mean, he's flying at this point. You've got no way of grabbing him. Lucius, we're gonna see Daddy. I know. I ask you again, would Daddy approve of this? He needs to see me for who I am. And that is a cursed fairy. <laughs> <laughs> fairy creature. If that's what I am now, that's what I am. 
Is he still flying? Yes. Yeah. When does this <laughs> flying run out? I'll roll a percentile dice. I know how long he's got. <clears throat> Actually, no. Uh, D6 would be. I'm gonna roll a D6. Maybe, maybe you'd hate me. You no, no, I'm, I'm really beautiful. I mean, do you guys really want to get this crown off him? Yeah, kind of. I might be able to convince him that it's just part of the teleportation process. We have to like hold on to the crown for a couple minutes while Nova says some things. I mean, he's beautiful, but he's not so oh. smart. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound he's being particularly quiet. I think Lucius hears that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you didn't say you were I thought, whispering. I thought he's far away, like no, he's still flying, flying around. around. He's like 20 feet in the air, I guess, but you can still, you were talking at a pretty normal volume. I have my hand over my mouth, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> if you had said, I pull Ayla aside and like, I'm like, oh yeah. I was saying it loud enough for the stream to hear, Mark. Oh, well, it was professional funny. is what it was. But yeah, you it's can still say to whisper. me, I'm pulling Ayla aside or I'm going to say to Ayla quietly. Otherwise, so, you're just talking. I've been robbed. I'll say to the team quietly, I could do it when he's asleep. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just do that. You don't hear that. Like, if, if you um, two we'll grab him. It's a willing creature thing, so I'd have to take a saving nope. throw. Nope. Okay, cool. Nope. I'll never sleep. If she, touches, <laughs> <laughs> if she touches the object, it's the object. The object is cursed. She could also touch you, and it doesn't, don't have to be willing. It's just a creature. Touch it though, because then it's going to bound to me. Well, you have to put it on. You don't know. Not if it comes you could touch to Lucius though. You said you, yeah, you can you touch, touch Lucius. Lucius. So yeah, really touch Lucius or the object. I think we've touch tried touching the object before, though, when we tried to pull it off, didn't we? Yeah, but it was still on him. If I'm taking it off of him, it might latch onto the next. But you can only take what? it off after you okay. take it. Rather than arguing about when on well, blah, 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 what are you doing? Right. Are you teleporting? Right. What's the plan? Skull. Also, Araya hasn't said what she wants to do yet. Yeah. So we're. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like. We're going to Gusthaven. Yeah. Is that the best place to go, or is Horizon the best place? Well, I mean, he was pretty sure about Gusthaven. Uh, Voidenstar was probably not the best one. No, you know, I would love to see my mom. Gusthaven's full of mages, full of hope and dreams. Full of clerics. Full of clerics. Well, there you go. That's it's got everything you need. Yeah. Lucius, you would know that there is the um, the Star Sorrow Cathedral, which is a huge temple to Siaska and the other gods. What a name. It's one of the biggest and now closest to the cradle. Perfect. Well, that's that's where you need to go. I kind of want to, you know, <laughs> say, uh, um, the but like... Um, but Horizon, right? Horizon does also have like many temples. Again, I don't think any of you would really know that much about Horizon because none of you are from there. None of you know anything about no, it. No, it was just the original place that we were. It is a sky going. city. Yeah, yeah. I know people in Gusthaven. Sure, let's go there. The only thing I wonder about is Johan's dream about Quill. He saw Quill flying, flying into the Valley of Storms, didn't he? He saw him flying when he had two wings into the Valley of Storms, and that was a long time ago. His visions changed. I just more. wonder if it's something we should revisit when Quill's back with us, maybe. Like, I feel like we should maybe come I don't back think, here. I think that There's no reason Quill knows this back. area. Quill knows <laughs> this area more than anyone. He yeah. knows the Valley of Storms, and he also has some kind of a connection to Hesper, and I don't think we should do it I without think, him. I think just, just to reiterate, this is not a video game. <laughs> if you go away from here, you can just come back. <laughs> like, it costs a lot of money, though. <laughs> yeah, we'll Perry's not with us forever. We come back, we've got new abilities, we can reach new areas. We just, just like steal Perry's <laughs> watch. <laughs> well, like, I mean, you already know that there are teleportation circles yeah. that go from Katavag yeah. to Gusthaven, so you can go back to Katavag. Yeah. There are airships you can book passage on. There are, you know, there's loads of methods of like. Daddies, you can daddy. Ships we can buy. I don't want to daddy. Or you can daddy. <laughs> so, ships are very I'd like to come back here when Quill comes back. Yeah. Okay. I think we've, we have a lot to Quill's talk about. Got an unfulfilled quest, I believe. Scaldi looks to Araya. Would you be able to help me get back to Stenhill? I'm yes, worried of about traveling these roads on my own, but with you and Scorb and maybe a couple of these goblins, we can probably make our way back all right. Yes, of course I'd go to We're going to back. leave part ways here. Would you then be able to maybe return Scorb to his owner? I think we were going to the other place. Yes, no, I'd, hap I'd happily do that. do that. Yeah, no problem. Um, I feel like my job here is done. Uh, you've got Sentry back. You're on your way to a new place. And honestly, I like the sea better than I like the sky cities. I couldn't handle being up that high, let's be honest. It's a bit out of my depth. Mm. I'm happy being here and 
Mersker and making my way, making my living here until I get my feet back in water. But thank you for having me with you and for taking me on and trusting me. It's been, it's been a wonderful, wonderful adventure and it's been amazing to see this part of Mersker. I wouldn't have known that somewhere like this even existed if I hadn't to come with you. I don't think we'd be standing without you, so thank you so much for all your help. Thank you. You went above and beyond. No problem. No problem. And, also and I, hope we, I hope you come visit one day when you get your legs and your ship back. And if you feel up to going up, my, my daddy's home is always available to you. Thank you very much. It's very kind, Lucius. I'll, yes, I'll, I'll take you up on that. Good. Um, oh, well, me. Could I just... I'll, I want to give you this. I'm going to take out one of the ruby statues we took from the Keep of the Night Eyes and give it to you. It's worth Nova. 150 gold. Nova, Voyager! You... For your ship fund. Nova, you can't give me this. But you've done so much and like you normally work for money and you've been like working pro bono all this Over time. time yes. like, it's 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 been an it's been such an honor. It's been an, a wonderful adventure and I'm so glad to have met you. You're a wonderful wonderful bunch of people and you've really opened my eyes to That's right. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> You've opened my eyes to the many wonderful races of Aroes. I hope to explore more and find more folk like yourselves. We wish you luck on your return, on your journey. And we oh. hope that you can bring Quill back. Before we go... And yes. I have one last question. <laughs> I've got to take a break in a minute, Kim, but sure. <laughs> Could you teach me gentle repose? I can pay for it. Yes. Yeah, she can teach you. I just feel like we might need it in the sure. future. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can do that. Well, how much does it cost? It's like, work out the cost. 50 gold per, per spell hour level. or something like that. I think it's like, so we'll figure it out. But yeah, yeah we'll mark that off. Per level. And while um, you're doing that, I'll get my, uh, you know, teleport lungs ready. Yeah. Really takes it out of you. We're, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I think the plan is to teleport, right? Teleport. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Araya yeah, and Scaldi and Scorb begin their trek back to Stenhill. Oh. And when we come back, we'll head off to a new place. We'll yeah. see you in five. See you later!
Welcome back. Uh, before we get started, just a quick reminder, don't forget, after this, straight after this, twitch.tv forward slash DD because we're going to be playing two more hours of Dungeons and Dragons yeah. with the new mini series, uh, Light Force Descent. We're getting back to the Light Force characters. It's going to be really fucking cool. Come and watch that. Um, we end of things just before the break. Mark, did you bring a mic on? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you missed all of that, stick did around. A we'll, uh, yeah, did a Tom. We're going to be back for more mini series stuffs. Don't know what you're talking about. You're People can hear me fine now. Tiny yeah. moron. I am. Uh, so, yes, Lightfall mini series straight after this, twitch.tv forward slash DD. Right after this, two more hours of DD with us. We're going to have a good time. Just before the break, yes. Araya, and Scaldi, and Scorb head off. Back towards Stenhill. Uh, they leave, leaving the rest of you in the care of Piri, who I believe he intends to transport you all to Gusthaven yeah. using his Cypher Academy device. Oh my god. Is so, that uh, still the plan? Is there anything else you want to do before you go? Or do you want to just shield jump? off of Araya? Nope. She's gone. <laughs> nope, she's gone. Anything else you want to do? Uh, I will say, hold your breath, okay? It gets a little bit like. Takes a lot out of you. Kind of makes you feel a little sick if you do it for the first time. And I don't know if you guys have teleported before, but uh, <laughs> kind of sucks sometimes. We got forcibly teleported here because of uh, Star Bean. Higher. <laughs> Would it make Sentry feel sick? No. Yes. <laughs> no way that she can feel sick. Whee! So. Um, okay. So is that still the plan? Gust Haven, right? Mm-hmm. There's no chance your watch is going to blast us somewhere else, is it? Oh, there's every chance. You ready? Sure. Okay. Right, you have to get them all in a circle. You have to basically all be holding hands. Hold hands. Come by, my lord. Oh, I'll my watch a couple yeah. times until oh, my chop on this hand. Yeah, you basically you rotate take it take until you know it's the setting for Gus Haven. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay. Smeek grabs I mean, onto I Ayla. I can't really hold hands. I need someone to press the button, actually. So I'm going to let go of Ayla's hand. <laughs> Smeek hits it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Smeek hits him. Smeek literally oh, holds Ayla's like, leg deeper. and then is like, sees you like, like looking at it and he just slaps her. <laughs> I didn't have time to hold <laughs> <laughs> I don't screw it up. You just hear me go, Smeek, no! <laughs> <laughs> there is a flash of light. A sudden rushing of movement as if you're being thrown through the air at an incredibly fast rate. You feel space around you warp and change and distort as you... Did we touch Quill's body? We'll tell you. <laughs> 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 I'm going to assume that you have Quill's body because I'm not fucking with that Oh shit. my god, we didn't. <laughs> I am not fucking doing that <laughs> shit. Right. Two days later. <laughs> you can't fucking... we well, no, because you can't teleport back to Mirskir. Uh, no! Yeah, if, if you could just teleport back, I'd be like, you don't have his body. Because <laughs> you can't do that, I'm not fucking we doing that We have the body. Oh my otherwise, God, you could, otherwise, well, no. <laughs> it, would, it would take you, you wouldn't be able to get back before the 10 no. days. Like, th that would be it. Quill would be dead. <laughs> So I'm not Cozy. doing that. Oh my god, okay, we take Quill with us. That's Quill is with you. I'm assuming Sentry is carrying Quill's body. We brought point. Smeek though. He's a new Quill. Smeek jumped on. Smeek jumped on. He's a new Quill. Smeek jumped on. He's a new Quill. Yeah. Smeek's like, uh... So. Oh my god. He's a stowaway. You feel time and space warp around you. Most of you have felt the sensation before. Sentry, you are aware of what's happening, but it doesn't change your equilibrium. Whee! Just through the warping space. Just <laughs> holding a bird. Just like, um, na, 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 you feel this kind of sudden rush. <laughs> and a, uh, not an impact, but you feel the sudden rush. And then, and then you breathe in as you feel the air kind of filling your lungs. Uh, and you find yourself in a stone room. Quite large. There is a faded circle of runes on the floor. And looking above you, you can see a kind of crystalline disc suspended from these kind of wired mounts. Uh, Smeek promptly throws up on the floor. <laughs> oh, for yes. God's sake, he was ah! supposed to be here. Oh, and look how he pat his tiny on. back. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Stop it. I was really, he, we should have left him. <laughs> He's... 
sits in his sick. Oh. <laughs> That's uh. absolutely <laughs> disgusting. I can't. There is. How do you keep latch on? <laughs> there is a stone spiral staircase oh. in one corner that God. appears to. No, sorry. There is a stone oh, alcove God. with a doorway, a heavy wooden door set into it. And that is the only exit from the room. The room is bare, it's completely barren. Okay, well, I should probably just check if this is custom. And these rooms all look the same. Uh, so, uh, anyone want to. We're not in any danger, are we? Shouldn't be. Um, I should probably say, uh, normally we don't bring um, other people with us. Normally just uh, Cypher approved. So I'm just going to go double check. Maybe we need to get out of here quickly, actually. Um, so I'm going to go over to the door mm -hmm. and just like look through. So you open it? Yeah. So you open it and it pushes outwards. And you see it must be, it's, it's the back of a false like shelving unit. Mm. So it's like a secret door, but you're opening it from the from the secret side. And you open it up, and you would expect there to be sound. People working, people moving around, but there isn't much. You hear maybe some people walking around in the distance. You open it up, and you see kind of before you, from your angle, there's a large stone column um, in the way, kind of almost obscuring this, this secret door. Uh, and you see a large warehouse, um, stoned floor, wooden walls, uh, with various shelves and crates and boxes kind of around. There is a staircase that appears to lead up, and then there is a large set of double doors on the other side of the room. It's not a huge warehouse, but it's big enough to kind of store materials in. Um, you see, Perry, nobody of the Cypher Academy colors. You see nobody in the Academy's colors. What you do see, it's about six individuals in rugged leathers with <coughs> dark blue strips of cloth and fabric or shirts, um, rough looking sorts, a uh, mixture of elves and humans and dwarves. And they appear to be prying apart crates and prying apart the shelves looking for something. Ooh. Okay, just gonna close that there. Um, are we home? It look, I guess, does it look like Gusthaven? I like, mean, it looks like the inside of a warehouse. Have, have I been here before? Or at least this particular... Oh, there it is. We have a three-dimensional map. I guess I would have ordinarily <gasps> yes! safely teleported back to um, Fortinsar, so <laughs> I, I suppose I wouldn't have been here before. That means we're going to have a discussion. Hey. About what? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at this map, I'm not I'm talking out of character. Wait, is it? <laughs> no. I was, no. I was just wanted to daddy's warehouse. The elk and charge it I'd through. I'd know, right? I'd know if this is. Well, you, I guess you would know this room that you're currently in. Imagine the safe house was in my home. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> just come out into your bedroom. <laughs> oh, it's just a bookshelf. I told you. I always thought there were ghosts. <laughs> just people believe. coming out of the safe house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> a really traumatic child. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Daddy runs the Cypher Academy. <laughs> so Piri is the one who's basically kind of peering out at the moment. The rest of you are kind of tucked into Peering's the secret room. Piri. Piri. Uh, so yeah, that's what you see. And you can hear like muttering, like they're kind of, oh, I can't find anything. Have you found anything? Yeah, it looks like they picked, it looks like the rest of them <coughs> managed to clear away whatever was here. Don't know why they're having us just, you know, break apart all this stuff. They can't have hidden anything more. We cleared this place out. Close the door. So out there is a warehouse. Uh, loads of boxes. Also, a couple of guys, uh, about six people. They seem to be prying them open. Not sure if that's a warehouse thing to do. Sounds like they might be thieves. Thieves in Gusthaven? Yeah, I... Very, very rare. Bolucious. Very, like... Sort of that sort of crime is generally not done. They're looking for something, but... Uh, probably working. Let's go say hi. Maybe, sure, I mean... Oh. It, step through. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Lucius steps on through. Crime, period. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, Lucius, for you, when you step through, I mean, this looks to be a sort of airship dock warehouse or an airship warehouse, like an office, where 
things are stored, you know, trade goods and, and supplies and things like that. There are a couple of um, engineering desks with Ethereum tools and things like that around. I mean, it, this looks like the kind of place that you've seen in Gusthaven, in, on the docks at least. Um, this and is you home. see, uh, so as you say that, uh, you hear there's a couple of like exclamations um, as you mm -hmm. see groups of very rough looking sky ship pilots, I guess you would probably recognize them as. They look like airship crew, but they're just picking this place apart. They're like ripping up like, you know, desk tops or like pulling out drawers, shaking them out. Are you refurbing or something? Okay. <laughs> okay, we're doing that. Uh, the closest one kind of pops his head around um, and you see the others kind of spin around as well. And there is this moment of they're like looking at you. Where the hell did he come from? And then they look over and it's like one of them uh, who appears to be slightly better dressed looks down is like, we can't risk him knowing we're here. Kill him. Roll initiative. All righty. <laughs> Oop. Always getting a second. Natural 20. Nice. Ah. It's going to be good for you. Uh, Natural one. That's gonna be <laughs> great. Thirteen. That'll be ten. Oh, shit. Yeah. Very long spell slots. Oh, straight into the battle music. Ayla. Bam. Fifteen. Would we Period. have had a long rest? Uh, Nineteen. Yeah, we did. You we did. Yes. Yeah, we had a long rest. Yeah, we had a long rest. You had a long rest. While in Sentry the forge. was being res. Nova. Fourth. Lucius. Twenty-three. Sentry. Nine. 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 What's that? No, initiative doesn't count. There's no such thing as a failed initiative. I feel pretty good like failure. I feel like a failure. <laughs> 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 you really kept going with that one. Keep oh. testing me, Kim. Uh, Lucius, you are in fact the first to react. I mean, they're rough. They're, these are ruffians. And they've just said that they're going to kill you. Rough ruffians. <laughs> please, please don't hurt me. I'm very important. My daddy will hurt you all. Make a persuasion check. Fey, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> These are not Fey. You don't have advantage. But I do have a big ass charisma bonus. Yeah, now. that's fine. You can have that. Persuasion? Persuasion, yeah. Hey ya! Shit. 16? No, I think that, yeah, it's to convince these Han killers what? not to kill you when you've just discovered their secret operation of robbing places. Nope. Sorry. They, they just like. I don't care who your daddy is, kill him. You should. And I'm gonna back away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the I mean, the room is not very large. There's into no the really. Secret. I mean, yeah, I guess you can kind of back into there, but the rest of the crew are kind of like stood right by the doorway, so there's nowhere for you. They're to trying go. to kill us. Would you believe crime in Gusthaven? <laughs> Sorry, I'll move you back, but until other people start coming, there's no nowhere for you to really go. They're all by the door on their initiative. So the room that we're currently in, the teleport room, is not massive. It's not massive, but also you're all stood by the door oh. and you've not had your turns to go yet. And so Lucius is like, he can't squeeze through all of you, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're all kind of clustered around it. Um, it also just prevents him from, I'm going to go hide in the room. <laughs> like that I've not planned out. Yeah. So you're just gonna have to hope that other people come out to rescue you. Uh, one of them will. Or step up while the other one begins to make his way down 5, 10, 15, 20. He'll get to about there. So uh, one of them will pull out a hand crossbow and take a shot. Uh, in fact, take three shots at you. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Uh, the first one is a 13. Yeah. Okay. Second one is a 19. Yeah. Third one is a 12. <laughs> what? That was your 18. Six, 12. Six, 12, <laughs> 18 cow. points of damage as Just three wait. bolts Need thud, thud, armor. thud. You dodge out of the way that they're like scraping your arms, like one of them clips your leg. Not enough to, you know, kill you or anything like that, but severely injure me. Mm -hmm. Did Smeek do damage to me last time? I forgot. Yep. He yeah, did, yeah, six points. He did six, six points, points of damage. <laughs> Why didn't you note that down, Thomas? Because I was too busy not putting a fireball in his face. <laughs> Well, speaking of Piri, I believe it's you next. Okay, uh, we have to get out of here. We can't let him know about this place, all right? You think? <laughs> <laughs> so it's either 
We let this loose, so we go out there and fight these guys, right? Cool. Six seconds, that's it. I'm going uh, to step out. Yep. And I suppose... Fighty boy! Go, go! The first one I see is not beyond the pillar, but the one just around the corner. This one? Him, yeah. Uh, Five, ten. Go right up in his face. Up you in just his want to go there? Uh, or do you want to move further around? I guess still behind the pillar, uh, but within like range of like that. Like that? Like that? Yeah. Is that still within? Sure, yeah. Cool, I'll just punch yeah. around the bookcase. Okay. Um, and I want to uh, just double attack him with my regular things. Okay. You only can make three attacks with a bonus action unless you're going to use your bonus action to do something else. Uh, oh yeah, I've got my attack, haven't I? Well, you've yeah. got your two attacks and then you can bonus action extra right. punch. Because you can flurry as two extra punches, but it's a key point. But you can just do a normal extra punch. So stunning strike, is that... Oh no, that's when I hit, isn't yeah, it? So I may as well just triple it. Uh, tiny to remember in an hour's time. Yep. So, how those key points work. You've got to remember how stances work. Yep. That's why I got the cards. <laughs> 24, 23, and a 10. Uh, the 10 misses. Cool. So that's two hits. Bam. Uh, eight and six. So 14 damage, and I want to stunning strike one of them. Yep. Is uh, that wisdom saving through? E 17. It's a con save. Con save, 18. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fine. So you kind of punch him numerous times, multiple blows, and you're trying to strike at his vulnerables, but he's wearing studded leather. You just can't quite get the angles to kind of connect um, and force him to, and, and, you know, daze him. Okay. Um, cool. But yeah, you launch into a flurry of attacks. They kind of cry out like, "There's, there's another one! Where are they coming from?" <laughs> there's like twenty of us in there. <laughs> after Piri, Ayla. Uh, okay. I will come out. So it's like five feet of movement to go there. I will rage. Lightning begins crackling up and down the body. And I will run up to this guy yeah, it's over here. Fun. Whoopsies. I mean, it makes sense um, you knock over a load of bookshelves and stuff on the way. <laughs> just shove it in. You can move the bookshelves. Like anybody strong enough can probably like pull those down and stuff. <laughs> Smoosh him under a bit. No. Ooh. I will. Smack him in the face twice. Um, so twenty-one so, to hit on the first the, one. Yeah, uh, the little brown are the guys in the little brown studded leather armor. They are the ones who are wearing sort of like slightly nicer equipment. They've got like these okay. hooked daggers. Ooh, um, the other guys cool. look a bit more rougher and more common. An eighteen to hit. Eighteen and hits. A twenty-one to hit. Both hit. Yay! Damn, it's a double whacking with your brand new weapon. Meh. <laughs> So, oh, eighteen damage with for both of those with the okay. hammer, and then Dix. Dix saving Love. throw is nine plus three is well six plus three is nine. Nope. So another D six. So five lightning damage. Whoa, that's a lot of lightning. So twenty three. So as you as you strike him, you run up the the new howling tempest in your hands. As each blow lands, this kind of thunderous kind of impacts out. Blasts him with lightning and then you reach out with a hand as lightning runs through him. He kind of staggers back for a moment and you think that he's about to kind of fall down, but he swings his arm and hit this hooked dagger almost as a reaction to you hitting him. He cuts it up to your face, it's a 21 hit. Yep. You take uh, six points of damage as this hooked dagger. Flashing? Uh, piercing, so halved, uh, three. So it kind of like cuts your face a little bit, and he's still standing, but he forms into more of a defensive cool. posture. Um, cool. Clearly injured, however. Uh, that's the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, so some of the other guys go. Quick! This one's trouble. Get her. Ten. Three people have come out, and this one is trouble. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> she's got a lightning hammer. Yeah, she's very loud. You're just kicky. Uh, this guy over here is like, I've got one punch in me! <laughs> one yeah! Guy's, one guy's just gonna rush I'm over. Trouble. <laughs> so, Ayla, you're gonna get uh, two attacks against you. By these, uh, these guys wielding like little hammers and axes, they don't really have. Uh, their weapons don't look particularly dangerous. Uh, one is a natural one, so, well, it's a six, which I know misses. The other one, however, is an 18. Yep. Uh, you take five points of bludgeoning damage, half, half to two. two. It kind of just hits you on the arm. You don't even flinch, and he kind of oh. lifts it back, looking at you a bit. Do you scared. say he's got a little hammer? Yeah, he's got like a little tiny like. <laughs> I'm just standing there, like, like that's cute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bobby's forced hammer. <laughs> uh, 
They look nervous. Uh, Perry, one against you. Cool. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. Blech. Five bludgeoning. Fine. <laughs> Knocks you around the face with this hammer. Ow. Sentry! Yo, yo, yo! Yes, she's back! I'm back! Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. So, You've got three on Ayla and two on Perry. So you've used five foot of movement just yeah. to kind of step past the Can I move up, uh, like, in this gap here? It's like between the two sort So you of can groups. go five, yeah, you can literally go like that. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Excuse me. So you're next to Perry. And then can I uh, smoosh the one who's this guy here next yeah. to Perry? With the axe? With the axe, please. So you pull out your battle axe. And can I use Divine Smite? Uh, so you do that when you hit. When I hit. Let it go! No, oh, no! Seven. Plus, add your modifier. Uh, that's 14. 14 still hits. Whoop, whoop. Nice. nice. And then, so I'm going to Divine Smite my dude. So what's your normal damage so my for normal your normal damage is... D8 plus 4. So you get that, and then with Divine Smite... And then Divine Smite is... 2D8, 2D8 for a first level spell slot. Plus 1 for a spell level higher than first. So if you spend a second one, you can do 3D8. 3D8. Can I do extra attack on that as well? Yeah, that will be the next attack. So you roll the damage for this one. So 3D8. So you're just using a first level spell slot. Seven plus four is eleven. Eleven, and then so eleven damage. Eleven damage, and do extra ten. Yep. So next attack. We'll get there. That is six, twelve, eleven. Eleven is just misses. No. Right. So he he cool. the first blow you bring this axe down and it crackles with violet energy from your central core. It slams into him. He manages to bring like this little hammer up but the force kind of staggers him back. Mm -hmm. As you go to lift the axe to swing again, he kind of ducks, tucks and rolls to the side and your axe comes slamming down into the ground. Cool, cool. Can I do can What would you do, like to do? Can I do Thunderous Smite on the first one as a bonus action. So you'd normally you have to cast it before yeah, you hit. Yeah, before I do. Cool. Yeah. So All right. for the future, you just have yep. to cast it before you fit. No problem at all. Over. Um, can I get next to anyone with uh, any of the bad guys with thirty foot? Yes, you could come around the column and then stand next to Ayla. In which case, I would like to stab him with Tiangong mm -hmm. and Green Flame Blade. <laughs> you got it. Green Flame Blade him. So. Green Flame Blob. Blame from bra. Blame blame blade. Blame blame blade. Oh for fuck's sake! It's a natural one. <laughs> oh dear. So, add it up. Eight. No. <laughs> so you begin channeling for this green energy wraps around Tiangong. You go to swing. He kind of dodges to the side and knocks the the blade into the column, uh, and you're uh, you're kind of thrown off balance. Can I take that as my fail? Well, I mean that's your first fail. Yeah, that's a fail. Yeah, failed attack rolls or skill checks or saving throws. So for the fun coin, the fun coin, fun coin, fun coin, little personal mechanic of mine uh, that we come up with. We're trialing, we're trialing it. Lucius, top of the round. Uh, I'm gonna sprint past, disengage. Oh, so you're gonna disengage first. That's your action, and then and then your movement. You can move past any enemies you want. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah. Can I get there. Yeah. That's your whole turn though, because it's your action to disengage. What's out there? Oh, uh, it's a door. I'm just gonna. It's a door with like a little window, and you can see. I'm moving towards it. You can see what looks to be like crowds of people outside. As I'm pushing past, like, I'm going to get the authorities. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Nice. Uh, seeing you make a dash for the door, mm -mm. Uh, one of them is like, quickly, that one's trying to run for it, and this guy jumps up onto this table nice. and then pulls his crossbow out and fires three times. Uh, one of which I'm sure is going to be a miss. A nine? Uh, no. A 21? Yeah. And a 26. Yeah. So you're going to take 12 more points of damage. <laughs> Two more bolts. <laughs> You'll never get away with this. <laughs> Still alive. Uh, <laughs> He's taking so much fucking damage. Perry. Uh, is it me? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's going around quick. These guys are pretty simple, so. The table that guy is standing on. Yeah. What are the legs like? I mean, they're fairly sturdy. It's got like a big central core. It looks like that table, so like a big kind of sturdy central thing and then four prongs. Ah, okay. So not like teetering. Climb. It's not a teetering table, no. No. I um, mean, you could, if, with significant force, you could push or pull it away. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to try and break it with like damage, you would need something that is effective at doing so. Yeah, I can't really move away from these guys without them just... You could spend key point to move away from them. Yeah, you can key point to disengage. So that would make it a bonus action, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. 
You basically yeah. you do like a cool flip over. Do I disengage them. both of them? Yeah, yeah, disengages all enemies. You oh, just nice. don't provoke opportunity attacks for the rest of your movement. I think I'll do that and basically roll over that. Um, you go like, <laughs> you do like then, a cool flip, and then flip go. over the guy's head, you, or you could kip up off the column. You could yeah. be like, boom, 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 and then jump on the other side. Anything I can launch off, I'll do it. Yeah. Um, and then I go over that barricade next to Lucius, so, so in front can, of Lucius. You can run You like, You like. can run along here, and then you run off, and then you do like another cool flip. Man, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing a front off. flip when I land as well. <laughs> Um, so that's just your movement and bonus action. Cool. And that guy that's on the thing, mm -hmm. I kind of want to just long range, three attack. Oh no, two attacks. Yeah. Little bonus action. Just on that little beam that he's standing on. on okay, table. so you want to try and go for the, the, the thing in, that's holding the tail up. Yeah. Okay. Which I just want to topple that thing. Okay, sure. Um, so two attacks. Uh, eight and a uh, 18. So what was it? An eight? Yeah, and an eighteen. I mean, wood's still pretty tough. So that one kind of hits, but doesn't do anything. The eighteen would, however. Okay, a d six. And how? I would say this is a <laughs> medium resilient object. <laughs> Four damage. Four damage. I rolled a one. It ignites, and you can see like it burns away some of it, and it catches fire, but not enough to be anything significant. All right. Well, I'm fine. The guy just kind of like. Looks down. Are you trying to knock me off this table? I missed! <laughs> I was aiming for you, I was aiming for your head! <laughs> really terrible. Ayla. Uh, I'm just gonna hit the. So sure. I'm gonna start, hit this guy. Oh, yep. Maybe. It's the same guy you hit before, I think. Yeah, um, so an 18 to hit. 18 hits? Um, Are you gonna do one attack and then see? And see then... if it <laughs> is enough to. 8, 9, 10 with the hammer. Dex. You don't need to make the deck save. Yeah. Uh, with the hammer, you, what'd you do? Like swing upwards or like bring it yeah. crashing down? Both at the same time. Like swing upwards to see how far he flies. You slides. clip his jaw, you hear teeth shatter, mm. and then his jaw kind of pushes most of his skull up, lifts mm. him off the ground, and then as he lands back, he's not moving. Sweet. Dead. Next. Uh, <laughs> One. <laughs> Oh, no, that's not. Uh, I can make hit. the deck save for a one nearby, I think. I think it's Yeah, within it's within nearby. 10. No. Well, that's going to be 16. That will pass. So, it'll be so he will take three. Because I rolled full. Um, I don't think I'm going to hit with this one, though. Seven, eight, nine, 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 12. Yep, that hits these oh, it guys. Hits? These, okay. these other guys. Sweet. So. Which uh, one are you going to go for? This one or this one? I had you lightning blast this one. This one. Okay. This one, please. Um, so, eight, nine, nine, 13 more damage with the hammer. Damn. Slam it into his ribs. You're right for killing him. No, I doubt it. <laughs> God, son of a bitch. Uh, the riggers. So, they will attempt to pile on the greatest threat that they can see. Uh, Not me. I'm over here. Oh, this one is good. This one can actually it's be My natural one just rolling around on the floor. <laughs> So, two against Ayla, one against Sentry, and then one against Lucius. So we'll do the two against Ayla. Hya! Hya! That is a 21 yep. and a 24. Yep. So you're going to take five damage from both. So, so that becomes two from both, so, so four. Can I use protection? Who are you? Do you like to use protection against? The only person you've got is Nova is within oh, five feet of you. I'm fine. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay. Yeah. You have to be next to, next to whoever you want to use okay, protection okay. on. So just remember oh, that. Oh, there's a picture. scholar here. Who? Sentry. <laughs> 15. You're going to give me a paper no. cut. This like hammer just hits you on the back and there's this like ding. And you just turn around and he's like, <laughs> she's made of metal. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lucius. Natural one, so six. Oh, thank you, like, goodness. Duck like, <laughs> as this man swings and catches a bit of the stone. I think I was actually looking at the table. The period just like. <laughs> and it's just <laughs> on my head. It swings over your head. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, sentry. A man. A <laughs> woman. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast. Thunder smite on my axe, please. Yep. Go for it. And then I'm going to hit the man behind me. This one? Yeah, yeah. Turn it off. Face him. Yeah. You just dig you with a hammer and you just turn him around <laughs> So, thunder smite is oh gosh, an extra 2d6 if I get there. That's 8 plus 7. 15. 
Eight plus seven. Fifteen, 15, yeah. 15 yeah. 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 hits. Whee! And then two D6. <laughs> my brain went so that. So that was my, that was, you're right, was you're right. There? there are so many bits and bulbs. So D8 plus four and two D6. Yes. Whee! Can I do extra attack as well? Uh, that's after this, yeah. So extra, you always make two attacks, basically. <laughs> But cool. the Thunderous Smite goes uh, on this one. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Dimaggio's. Dimaggio's. Was that to this one? This dude, yeah. Yeah, he's not being hit. The one that dinked you in the back. Cool, cool. Yep. And then... Yeah. Extra so you kind of... And does Thunderous Smite do something else? I think I have this, to make This is an extra 2d6. Is there not an effect? I think it pushes him as well, Oh. It? Yeah, uh, let me do my reading. Is it, it must succeed in a strength saving throw. It'll be pushed ten feet away from you or not prone. <laughs> as you like, slam the axe into him, there's this <laughs> as he's launched through the air. Nice. And then you get extra attack. Extra attack, so yeah. you do that on this one that you hit the nice, first Nice, yeah, let's turn around and give that guy a schmackety whack. So you knock this guy flying and then you turn around with a backswing and hit the guy next to you. Oh, 18! Nice. Yeah, that's going to definitely hit. 18 plus 7. So 20. no thunderous smite on this no one, just normal smite. damage. Just yeah. that one, yeah. yeah. So it, be... It's expended the first time you hit a creature. Yep. So one D8 You could Divine Smite though. I could Divine Smite, and I will Divine Smite. Burn a spell slot. <laughs> so it does burn a spell slot. It does burn a spell slot. But it's 2 D8 extra. Day. I might spell a spell slot already. I'm going to spell yeah. a... Smite. Do yeah. I do a spell slot and do She's three? She's got multiple spell slots. I thought you can burn more than two spell slots in a turn, more than one. You can't cast a spell more than once in a turn. Yeah. Right, Pal okay. Paladins are pretty broken. Man. I see, okay. So what you want to do I'm a second do, level spell? Yeah, I'll do three D8. So you add that to your, your other D8 as well. Okay. So it's one D8, uh -huh. plus two D8 for Divine Smite, Oh Plus God. another D8 for Divine Smite at second level. Overkill! Whoa! <laughs> this might be do a double kill. Have, do we even have enough D8? Oh, no, that, 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 He's that, just not prone. He's just falling over. Plus four. He can't so get out. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 23! 23 damage? Yeah. <laughs> you just cleave in and you feel this, again, the power in your, your matrix swells. You know, brought back to life. This is the first time you've been back in combat and it shows as you bring this the axe cleaving down his back. It tears through his armor, <laughs> yes. and then he just collapses to the ground. It was like, yes, Sandra, I don't budge. So no, it's been so long. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> Oh, you're using him as the long sword, yeah. Two so hand, that's yeah. 10 points of damage, um, of stabby damage, and then 5 points of green flame so damage. 15. Nice. Damn, that one. I like to think that I'm inspired by Sentry, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, he's dead as well. Damn. So the, the energy, but then I think with Green Flame Blade you can do damage to yeah, somebody. To, who's that? Someone who's in five feet and I don't think that guy's No, five there's feet. nobody within five feet. Nope, sadly not. Um, so you watch as this energy dissipates, but yeah, you stab through Tiangon the two. You're actually willing it two-handed if it's D10. Mm -hmm. So you watch as Tiangon grows in size and then she oh, cuts into him. Cool. Cleaving across his chest. Yeah. Inspired uh, by my girl. Lucius. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Lucius. Go power. I am the Lord. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to cast Armor of Agathis on myself and keep trying to run out. First level? Second level. Second level? Dichromancy? Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? So that would be... Seven. With my current charisma, mm -hmm. that is plus four, six. Six points, points of damage to which one? The boy closest to me. This one? That boy. That boy. So you watch as you kind of form this Armor of Ice around you and then you pull a shard from a, a bit of blue cloth he's wearing and then fling it back as this icicle. Oh, oh, a mage! Sorcerer, but yeah. <laughs> Sorcerer. The remaining lieutenant. Oh. Surrender. He's thinking about it. Are you thinking about it? Well, the guy on the table. 10, 15. He's gonna make a runner. Five. Yeah, he is. He opens the door and then dashes out and flees. We got a jackrabbit. He just runs for it. 
leaving his companion behind. Uh, Piri. I mean, I know it's off the battle map. Yeah, you can chase after him. I want to go out there and tackle him. Yeah, yeah. So you run out the door. What's your movement speed? Uh, 45 feet. So you go, you go 5, 10, 15, 20. He's about 30 feet away because he got to the door. Oh, he dashed and then as he well. dashed, yeah. You're a monk, though. You can dash. You, you can, yeah, you can use You your can bonus action to dash. dash. Oh, actually, 30 feet. I'll just... Pew, pew, pew. Oh, you're just going to... So, uh, so yeah. You, do you want to flurry or are you just going to do two? I'll flurry. So four attacks. Monk flurry. So you, as you open the door, by the way, to describe this, you kick the door open or whatever, you rush out, and you can see that this warehouse is at the end of a narrow strip. You can see other similar warehouses nearby with small alleyways between them. But in front of you, a fair distance away, like, you know, a fair walk away, is just blue sky and clouds. And the, the clouds are below the, the street. And you can see a big airship docked uh, alongside it. And it's this glorious uh, sails glimmering with magic and energy. And you can just see it. And it's just blue. That's are we above the clouds? Yeah. Mm. Oh, um, and right. You, you can see that there are other people out here. And they're like, oh, what's going on? He's the bad guy, trust me! Four attacks. Ooh! Ooh one's a nat 20. 20. Uh, hey, well, that so one's really for damage. The lowest is a nine. Uh, nine, then nine 20, misses. then 22, then 26. Anything then above 12 hits. Fine. Sorry, above 15 hits. So Let's I'll go. do the damage. So uh, 2d6, so 3, 2, 6, 5, and then this one doubles. Ooh, and it was a 6 as well. 12 plus 3, 15. Uh, 5, 6, 15, 21 damage. Oh, he's slammed in the back as these burn marks, this radiant fire just kind of causes him. He turns around, and you can see he's still standing, and he just like looks behind him panicked. Um, Come on! Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm yelling out to him. Yeah, no, I get it. Uh, after Piri, Ayla. I am going to run up to the one that's attacking Lucius because I've seen that he's been hurt quite a bit and I'm going to smack him. Sure. Natural 20. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be Yes, a girl! <laughs> so. so 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 damage on the hammer. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Would you like to describe how uh, you do it? Yeah, do you want to like, how do you do it? Like. Oh, oh, how do I do it? What parts do you smash? Bit, pick a body know. part, what you're smushing. So if you don't know, like, Last you could, time it was an upper swing, you could, just down. You could almost, like, spar to kick him, because he's so close to the wall. Yes! He slams into the wall, and then as he hits the wall, you just throw the hammer. You hear his sternum oh. crack, his ribs shatter, God. and then with the magic of the hammer, you just... Whoosh. We're the good guys, right? Do I have enough movement left to go to the other guy? 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah, probably. Yeah, can you I, could jump on the table and do yeah, it. Right? Yeah, can I jump on the table and yeah. just bring that down? And do I get advantage because he's prone? Yeah, you absolutely do. I forgot <laughs> to stand him up. He was just lying there hoping you well. thought he was dead. <laughs> he was like, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my 19 God. to hit. Hits. Um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damage with the hammer and then deck safe. Yeah, no, he's dead. It's a double kill! It was a double three. Kill one turn. <laughs> We've only got it. He's like, he's like <laughs> lying there like, one eye like looking at the others, and then he hears Not you. Not buying it, dude. He like looks up and he's like, no, 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 <laughs> and then his head it just becomes a melon. <laughs> yes, this has been an interesting combat for me. <laughs> this has been great. I was like, ah, we should really it. interrogate one of them or something like that. But. Well, this mush would be there, go, but they're all dead. Fun. Century. I guess the guy um, outside. There's a guy outside, but I'm gonna move up to Lucius. I'm just sobbing with like blood all <laughs> over. You're like a couple of bolts sticking out your shoulder. <laughs> young, young boy. I'm gonna do I'm gonna look cure Daisy. wounds. Oh my god. Aww. Rhiannon's like, it's my first combat century. Spend it all. Spend, Spend it all. all Spend all the spell slots. <laughs> Hang on a minute, this is a momentous moment. Spell slot. We've got a healer. Do so you want to heal or do you want to lay on hands? Oh, I could lay on hands. It's been a while. She's got 30 HP in I do have 30 HP. I'm going to give Lucius 20 lay on hands. 20 That's HP. <laughs> you put a hand on him and wow! I was on 4 HP. Yeah. Well, you I'm feel this 24. energy course through your body. Oh. The, the wounds begin to you know, you. heal and close up. The bolts, you know, push themselves What has Ayla done? <laughs> 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 so, are you done? I'm done. Nova. 
so um, happy. Can I, can I get to the... Mm, so you can go four. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I would say you can peer out and try and get the guy, but you'll have <laughs> some cover. He's 30 can feet I away. Tr- He's 30 feet. Would my lightning charger get him? It's 15 feet range. Yeah. The only thing I could do is Eldritch Blast the fuck around with that. You could do. <laughs> I, can't, can I just it, though, want to can interrogate. You? Can I do it in a way that knocks him out rather than kills him? Sure. Yeah, you can make any attack basically you do non 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 attack the kneecaps. Eldritch is force, isn't it? Yeah. Eldritch blast. Yeah. Maybe, I'd say it's like, maybe she's like, like knocking him unconscious. Maybe I'm it. like knocking some bricks. No, that would be good. concussion then. <laughs> <laughs> concussion is better than blowing a hole in his chest kill or turning eventually. his head to a melon. So. That was fun. Seventeen. Yeah, hits. Um, Roll damage. And then I do two D ten, don't I? Nope. One, well, you have two beams. I have two beams. So you can make a second attack. And see, see how the first one goes. Yeah, roll, roll d10. Three. Okay. You knock some rocks off of a nearby building. It kind of clatters into his head. He holds it up, bleeding, but <laughs> running. Second beam. Second beam. Second beam. 16 plus seven. Hits. Gone. Oh, oh. nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two HP left. Oh. Oh. He, he sends him stumbling. He just turns around, like flips you off, <laughs> and looks like he's gonna keep running. Like, uh, how rude. Lucius, actually. Rude. Oh, we done with those ruffians. You done? Yep. Okay. Uh, the lieutenant at this point, um, he runs another thirty feet, throws himself down an alleyway. I mean, you don't, you don't know. <laughs> he gets thrown aside into a wall. Dies. I mean, didn't we have that in Red Gambit with Birdie? Yeah. Like, he just ran into Birdie. Um, uh, I'm gonna... Say something? Go 40 feet, 45 feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I still didn't even reach the alleyway because he was then 60 away from me from the start of my turn. So and he was 30, ran to an alleyway and then dashed down it. You could dash. Okay, I'll... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, you bon- can you can reach you can the bonus alleyway. action dash. Yeah, you can reach the alleyway if you spend a key point. I'll, yeah, I'll bonus action dash. Yep. So and then around yeah. the corner. So the, the alleyway he done into it's it's it is an alleyway, but it's also you can see there are people traveling through. It's kind of like a like a shortcut kind of you know passageway. Um, what's your passive perception? Uh, thirteen. He's gone. Like you're looking into a crowd and you're scanning the crowd. His face, you can't see him, and there's people coming and going. You don't know where he's gone. Um, I guess I've got like an. What could I do to look for him? Like if I. Uh, you can spend you can spend your like action to make an active search. Like you like, like trying to peer around. I'm just checking your passive perception. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can make a perception check. I'll do your action. action yep. That's your action to do that. Uh, perception. Yep. Fourteen. Okay. Looking down, you. Just catch him. He's thrown like a hood up and he's kind of shuffling next to a bunch of other merchants. But you see the same guy and he's limping and he's like holding his head. You can see the blood kind of like in between his fingers. Can I get to him with what movement I have left? How much movement do you have left? He moved uh, about 30 feet down. So he was, because he did the 60. To well, get he to was the 30 feet ahead of you. He did 30 feet to get to the alleyway. Yeah. And then he dashed into the alleyway. He's I've about got 30 feet in the alleyway. Oh, I've got 90 total with okay. my dash. Well, if you can so get to I, him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that works out. But you're, it was your action to spot him, so you just run up to him. Yeah. Okay, and he sees you and he's realised he's been made. Okay, <laughs> just run right up to him and just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, he's like making his way, you've seen him and now you're chasing after him as Ayla takes her go. Yeah, I feel like there's something you could just where whisper you can just him. see me running in the distance and then I just... Stop right in front of me. <laughs> Hello, mate. <laughs> so it's 30 to get to here. I have 45. Okay, I, so you can got 15. I, 15 and then can I you dash? You can dash to see. You can get to the edge of the alleyway. Yeah, What's your passive so perception? I, uh, 14. Yeah, you do actually see him then. You do okay. just about catch him. You can see Perry kind of making his way towards him. Jason Bourne style through the crowd. Like, hey, like chasing after him. But that's the end that's of your turn. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> God, this ch- this has become a chase now. They're all dead. <laughs> uh, sentry. Um, you're you're in this place with Lucius. There's a lot of dead bodies and blood smeared everywhere. Yeah. You're welcome. 
I'm going to go back and fetch Quill's body. Okay. And just... in the room. <laughs> yeah, don't forget him. Yeah, I'm not going to forget him. I'm going to go back and get Quill. Good shout. Sounds good, yeah. You good can one. do that. Yep, it's easy. One, Nova. Good. It's Smeek in there. <laughs> oh, fuck, Smeek. I didn't want to Smeek. <laughs> He just sat in vomit. Well. Smeek wasn't told what to do, so he still sat in the vomit. Yeah. Oh. He's just like, he like looks at you and he's like, he like just, he points at his bomb and he's like, Can I just, I just pick him up and move him away? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he like, but he sits down immediately. That was the last thing he was told to do. So okay. he just sits down again, he's but he's not in a sitting position sit. when you pick him up. Yeah, he's, he doesn't move his legs. <laughs> he's like a little, like, you. you know, little yoga instructor. He's just like, <laughs> and then you put him down. Nova. I can't handle it. Can I, um, <laughs> Can I start searching some of the bods, like just? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, you can. Yeah, you start going through the bods. Bods. Have a little rifle around. You find eighty-five golds worth of rat coinage. So you know a few silver pieces, platinum pieces, but it amounts to about eighty-five's worth of gold. No, like I identification. Ah, uh, yeah, you find. They wouldn't necessarily have anything identifiable. They have a tattoo. Mm -hmm. Oh god, not again. Engraved. No, I don't think they would have a tattoo because they're kind of a bit more sneaky. Let me cross that one out then. A lightning bolt. I thought it was a tattoo. It's a cloud. It's, no, it's a lightning it's just bolt. Blood. Through it. Yeah, no. They, the only identifying thing, the only kind of uniform thing they all have is this blue cloth. Some of them are wearing it as a bandana. Some of them have got it as like a sash around their waist. And it's got a faint kind of white and silver trim. Mm. Okay. Mm. And then they have hooked daggers, they have like little hammers, but nothing of particular note or interest. A hooked dagger is like a smaller curved sword, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's me. That's you done. They have hooked Lucius. Daggers. I don't, I think I just... If you're not going to do anything, that's fine. We'll just jump to the people who are actually I'm not doing in the chase. I'm okay. just watching Sentry. Okay, so it'd be... Do you need any help with it? No, you've got it. Perfect. <laughs> So, Piri, you're kind of stalking up on the guy. The guy knows he's been made and he can't really get away because you've chased after him. So in the crowd, he kind of stops pretending that he's like leaning for a second. And then he turns and tries to plunge his dagger into your chest three times. Oh my God. So that's a 19, a 21, and a six. Two hits. So the two hits. That is uh, the hand dagger, the hook dagger. That's 10 points of damage. And you do hear like cries of like, what, 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 what's going on? So he's kind of like properly like walked right up to you and just does this, <laughs> like shanking style. Like what happened at LARP? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. So you'll go. Ow, 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 jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Donk him for the Yeah, so you like try and just like, left. you try and fisticuffs him. He was um, kind of hoping <clears throat> that he would kill you with that strike, but, because he doesn't know how many hit points you have. <laughs> He's gone. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, 19 and a natural one uh, for 25 and yep. 7. Now, okay. But I am intending to knock him out. You want to knock him out? Yeah. So you kind of, you know, he stabs you a couple of times. He goes to it again. You reach down, grab his arm, and just one strip sort of like palm strike into the, the yeah. temple. Yeah, yeah. And he just goes limp in your arms and kind of <laughs> falls to the ground. Quite a few people are like, oh my goodness, what's going on? He what? tried to kill me. Can He's I... got a knife! He and they has... point down at the man, like, a bloody knife in his hand, like, resting by his hand. Hey, don't worry about that, I, I dealt the with militia. it. Call the militia! Call the militia! Yeah, yeah, do that! The or watch! Actually... Call the watch! Well, yeah, yeah, sure. go ahead, fine. I'm just gonna take this body back, okay, see ya. Where are you going with that body? And they're, like, calling after you. But the people here, like, the people traveling, the there's a mixture of, you know, merchant folk, common laborers, but they all seem utterly shocked and terrified that something like this has happened. They're like, I can't believe it, what? Who, who would have thought? On the street! On the street! It's okay, we'll take him where he needs to go. Prison, hopefully. You got one of those? P prison? No, no, no! Great. What? <laughs> okay, well... They'll, 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 they'll just exile him. They'll, they'll send him to the, 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 the lowlands. That's far worse than a prison. Yeah, yeah it's so... awful. Um, That's where he's going, though. So we'll drop out of initiative, because there's no more chase. Ayla, you see this happen, and you see Perry walking back, dragging his body. Can I just go and... Help with the hey, look. Yeah. carrying. Yeah, sure. Right. Saving face, but he's heavy. Um, there are. You do begin to hear the, the sound of whistles being blown, like loud, shrill whistles. Um, 
as the commotion both in the warehouse and now in the street is drawing attention of the city watch, it seems. Have I made it back to the warehouse? Yeah, you make it back yeah, to the warehouse. Yeah. Back. So you um, think you've got like a couple of minutes before the watch turn up. Okay, guys, they, they attacked us. We all know that. That's good. We've dealt with that. But we need to close the, the, the bookcase. You can't let them find that. Well, you do that. All right. Okay. Speak, heal. Oh, so you go, I was going to say, because Smeek is currently sat in the room, just on the floor. Smeek, heal. And he's like, <laughs> and he comes up and just stands next to Layla. That's it. Can That's I it. Um, <laughs> search through any of the, like, He boxes? starts, like, using his foot to try and get one of their Smeek. hooked knives. No, drop it. No. He holds up his, like, rusted scimitar and then Yes, point. you can swap it. <laughs> <laughs> he's got oh, two now. Smeek, <laughs> Smeek, very important. He also takes the hand Smeek. crossbow. <laughs> no stabbing any of us. Okay. Lucius. Speak. Yes. Lucius. Lucius, do you. Yes. Can you speak to the City Watch? I never had to. Yes, I suppose. Well, I think it would be best coming from you since you know your family are here. My family are here. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Can, I, can I quickly search through any of the boxes or anything like that? Just this place has been I... ransacked. There is nothing left. These guys were actually pulling apart the bookshelves yeah. to see if anything was hidden here. So there's not even like anything that were in the boxes? Like, the boxes everything were empty? Is gone. Everything Can is I empty. see if there's anything there's, on there's this There's just die? like tapestries and things like that and banners. Can we they see They don't this? depict anything, they're just purple cloth. Is there anything, anything interesting on the, the bookcase? Guy. Like any interesting books? Already Everything's gone. No, no, the, one that, the one that we just brought back, the lieutenant. Like, does the lieutenant have anything extra on him? No. Oh. No. Uh, there would be some gold, I guess. I uh, say, ten gold. There you go. Add ten gold. <laughs> this really doesn't look good. This murder no. in Gust Haven. Of all places. <laughs> well, we can't you tell hear me. armoured boots. I'm going to go outside. Okay. Uh, as you step outside, and Nova, you kind of see this as well, you see kind of ran, coming around the corner, there's only like three of them. Uh, you see three armed chainmail with plate mail on top, beautiful, ornate, silver-plated armor um, with this elegant uh, silver and purple livelry. Uh, one is a high elf, one is a half elf, and one is a halfling. And they come kind of stomping around. Um, you can see they kind of wide-eyed look and they're like what what is going on here in the name of the city watch of gust haven who who what is going on and they kind of gesture to nova and lucius who are near the front well actually nova you said you stepped inside yeah, right so it's just lucius just rifling through their bodies you i do like what, a, they like whatever the look at you is. And they're like hey, what some sort of fey beast uh, some sort of fey creature i am an enlast too i have you find they like just look at you you clearly don't look like a high elf at this point. You look like more like a pixie man, but just big. I've changed. <laughs> uh, what, sorry. First of all, we had reports of a stabbing and some sort of fight, commotion going on. Yes. The yeah, that, that was the me. half elf speaking. It's a male half elf, a female high elf, and then a female halfling. That was me. We, we just got here and we all were right. attacked. You need to s s slow down, sir. I, you need to tell us precisely what happened right now, sir. Okay, so we, uh, we're, we're friends. We were just walking on a sightseeing tour of the city, to be honest, when we just got here. Um, right. And, and then we heard some noises from in here. A load of people were... Uh, so you just entered the property unannounced and you found... Well, we saw some like shady people just sort of go in there and we're like, well, they don't look like workers here. So we thought, you know, that doesn't look right. And the moment we came in, they were like, hey, get out of here. We're stealing stuff. Also, we're bad, bad people. And we were like, whoa, that doesn't sound good. They got knives and crossbows out. They were ready to kill us. And we just had to defend us ourselves. And he stabbed me twice. She looks at you. She holds up a hand. <laughs> and it's like a faint kind of glowing glyph. Show me your identification mark, please, sir. For identification for what? For entering the city. Oh, please. I'll show you mine. You would have one, yes. So you hold up your hand and it's basically a glyph. Drop a trousers. <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's a glyph you have on your hand. It's an Flowers. arcane mark on your it'll hand. It'll still be there from the fade. It doesn't go, basically. Okay. It's, it's once you have it, unless you have it removed and you have it removed when you leave the city officially. Um, but for you, because you were on a mission to come back, you had it still. So basically, you know Lucius, 
immigration in the Sky Cities is heavily monitored because it, they oh, have to, told us that they have to monitor <laughs> you the population didn't know. extremely well. It's new to me. <laughs> I, I actually did. That. This was in a document I sent you about the Sky Cities when you made your character. I so I know you don't. <laughs> uh, so we'll put it down to the, the character rem not remembering because it kind of doesn't make well, sense. Well, he that wouldn't he would, know exactly. Yeah, he's never left. Um, but yeah, you have this mark, so you hold up your hand. Ah, well, thank you. And they they still don't know what to make of you. You get the sense that they they are not convinced you're not some sort of magical being, um, but they're a bit confused. They say, however, we do need to see it for every person in Gusthaven. I need to see your identification mark, please, sir. I, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't get one. That's impossible. You would have received one upon arriving in the city at one of the, de of the docks. See, I can step in here if you wouldn't mind. You sure. couldn't. <laughs> we are fresh from the airship over there. You point to the large one. Unfortunately, we clashed with these ruffians before getting our immigrants printed. All right. For your relevance, you have to pass through immigration before you get to the docks where you now are. Like, when you so step no off an airship, there is like a channel where you... It's like in an airport, right? You have to pass through passport. But we saw the airship right across, right? Right, you saw it docked there, but the actual gangway connects to... A thing which What's connects the, the rest of it. the distance between the airship you pointed out and where we are? Like, a considerable amount. Like, it's a big airship, you can see it, but it's not like, you know, 20 feet away. You know, it's hundreds of feet away, but it's big enough that you see it at the end of the, the lane. So, that's just for your information. Imagine, like, passport control, you have to go through to get... <laughs> oh my god! Um, <laughs> so yeah, you, there's no way that you can get off without going through it. You can't enter the city all right, Without the I retcon cards. that. Yeah, that's fine. That. That's because you would know that. I'll be honest with you, they don't have the marks, but my daddy will absolutely vouch for this whole situation and we'll all be under control momentarily. And you, the halfling woman, like, has been looking at you and she leans in. Sarah, I do think this one is... He does look like that Elanasto boy. Um, if I may... They, like as you turn out, you can see that as there's more of you, like they've got hands on weapons. Why don't you give your this, full title? This is Lucius. However, the crown he is wearing upon his head turned him into this. We can remove it, and his identity will will return to that of. Well, then I suggest Lucius. you do it. It sounds like a very ridiculous story, one that no guard worth their 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 armour would believe at first hand. We'll need to see some proof if that's true. Lucius, you need to let me remove the crown. Oh, but I'm so glorious. Uh, fine. Okay, I cast... For the law. Are you going to take out the scroll? Yeah, take yeah, out the scroll. You can cast it as normal with remove curse. Um, as you touch Lucius, the crown just falls off his head. The features immediately begin retracting. Oh, nobody touch the crown. The wings vanish. <laughs> nobody touch the crown. Smeek! <laughs> Smeek, do I not! He rolled his wisdom save there. What's his wisdom? Is it minus one? Where's Smeek? Oh so I saw that little glimmer um, in your eye. Is, is he close to me? Because yes, he'll get an one. advantage. Okay, so he does get an advantage. He gets next an advantage, to you, he's next to me. He so gets a plus it? two. Plus two, so his wisdom is minus one. <laughs> it's a good job Sentry is next to him. You see Smeek's eyes <laughs> light up when this crown hits the ground. <laughs> and his head kind of turns and he kind of shakes his head a little bit. He's like, what if I bad? And he points at the crown like, <laughs> He oh, makes like a weird yeah. sort of noise. No, Although that would have no, been hilarious. Yeah. So what was the advantage? Uh, uh, so uh, Sentry's aura of protection means you get a plus two to saving throws when you're within uh, 10 feet of it. Nice catch. Um, very good catch. Cool. So yeah, you see him do it and then you're kind of holding him up and what, what you're just going to leave the crown there? I suggest um, you confiscate... <laughs> yeah, your voice is back to normal now. I suggest you confiscate that immediately. Don't touch it. I may be Don't. Like, no. They use their sword oh, okay. and kind of hook it and then put it into a pouch. We'll have the we'll have the magisters look into this, the royal magi, um, and then as the, they see your form, your features returning, the halfling is like, "I'm certain of it. That's him. That's the Elanasto boy, Mister Lord Elanasto. 
you're going to need to come with us immediately. And if your companions definitely don't have their marks, they're going to need to come to a watch station as well. There's some circumstances we need to discuss and we need to get your reports on what happened here precisely. Absolutely. Of course. Lead yes. the way. Yes. Um, come with us. Uh, any, please do not touch any of the, the bodies or the evidence or any such matter, please. Oh, actually, one of them is ours. The uh, food. We need to take him with us. This is true? Absolutely. Very well. Lead the way. Please, bring, bring, <laughs> bring the Arakokra. Absolutely. Make, <laughs> I'll forget him this time. <laughs> is the goblin with you? He was a stowaway. We, do. we can detain him if you wish. No, he's harmless. He does what I say. Lord El Anesto, we, we must attribute this creature in your things. We will need to verify your identity fully, but I am willing to accept that you are who you say you are for now. But there are some circumstances mean that you will need to prove who you are. That is fine, yes. Okay. Um, do you still have the briefcase? Yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah, you do, yeah. You are led through the streets. You can see a crowd is now gathering, and people are like... And you can see everyone here wears these very airy but elegant fabrics. Uh, very richly dressed, but their fabrics are loose. The weather here is nearly perfect. It's sunny and bright, but it's not too hot. There's an ever so slight light breeze that's just refreshing and cool. Oh. Um, and when you look up into the sky, although it's blue skies, you can see that there are these suspended orbs of metal connected by these thin ropes almost, like cables, and they seem to be spread out across the city. Um, and you just have this perfect weather. The people gawk and stare at the scene of, like, people are trying to look inside the warehouse, people are looking at the dead body on the ground, and there's this murmuring of, like, my goodness, I can't believe it. I'm telling you, the Wind Barons are up to something. It's the Wind Barons again. They're, they're being even bolder. No, 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 no. It's definitely that Moon Star. That Moon Star's responsible here. She's a menace. She's not a menace, she's a hero. Uh, and there's these kind of all these Does things. Does that ring a bell to me? No. No, none of this makes any sense to you. Okay. Um, you also lose the benefits of the crown while it's oh, yeah. to you. That's gone. Yeah. Uh, you are led through elegant streets of white stone with spiraling, you know, towers. One common theme here in Gusthaven is pennants and flags. Um, hung from every window, atop every spire, they flutter in a, in a slight magical breeze. But these beautiful gleaming pennants are just fill the city with colour. Um, beautiful stained glass windows in storefronts. This is a place of beauty and elegance, and everything is meticulously crafted. Every building has been shaped to feel exactly the right size it needed to. It's no bigger, there's not been expanded on. Every building is precisely as it needs to be. It's very, very elegant. You are led through several districts and led to a small fort-like building probably can only accommodate about 10 or 12 individuals. Um, and you are led inside and led to a waiting room. Um, there are various watch offices. You can see people, you know, men and women in armor um, going about the business. They look at you kind of strangely, but you're brought in. You are placed inside a waiting room and two of the guards leave and say, uh, the, the last one simply turns to you and says like, you will need to remain here for some time. We have sent for one of the Royal Magi, and we will have also uh, sent word to verify some matters. You will need to remain here. Uh, until then, I will be taking your statements about what happened in the warehouse. However you came to Gusthaven, I suggest you tell me as much of the truth as possible. And she will take statements from you. How much are you going to lie? I mean, I'm, I'm going to... I'm not going to say anything about the teleportation or the academy or okay. anything. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a deception check from Perry. Uh, and, uh, seven plus deception, 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 ten. Okay. Yeah. They begin listing. Um, they're just taking down notes at this time. Uh, like writing down what your statements are. Anybody else? Is anybody else going to tell the truth, or is everybody going to lie? I'd tell the truth about like them attacking us and mm -hmm. like us finding them stealing and mm -hmm. being okay. nefarious and like. Okay. So I'd tell the truth from that point on. I think the point that I would lie, well, not even lie. I'd be very vague. I'd say we teleported in, but I wouldn't say like. Okay, so when you say that, the the one is like, how precisely was this a teleport spell? Why did you target the warehouse? We we got it wrong. Hmm. Deception check for me. 
but with advantage because it's quite a believable line. Let's say we got it wrong. Yeah, yeah teleportation magic can have mishaps, so. 19 plus 4, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right, who performed the teleportation? Pity's device. You have a magical device that allows for teleportation? Uh, well, I mean, I, I kept telling him, he, he, Lucius had this thing where he was like, oh, I don't believe in myself that I can do this spell. So I was like, it's okay, I got this thing that I can do it. But really, the power was inside him all this time. So it was Lucius. Lord Elanasto cast the teleportation. Yeah, he tonight. cast it, but I pretended. Disadvantage. <laughs> Disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, eight. <laughs> all right. She writes it down. The magic was within you all along. <laughs> Statements are taken, and eventually a purple-robed wizard, high elf, elderly, but not old, perhaps in his late 60s, um, thinning gray hair, silver kind of streaks throughout the rest of it, blonde. Uh, he arrives, wizened, wrinkled face, a little bit of a chin beard. He enters with this kind of air of mystery and intrigue. His eyes immediately cast to Lucius. Lord Elanesto? Yes? I'm going to need you to comply with a small brief ritual, if you will. Absolutely. Very well. Uh, he conjures a glyph in the air, and it fills the room. I would ask that the rest of you remain silent. Please state your name. Lucius? You cannot lie, but I know you're not going to. Virian Elowin Elanesto. Are you the son of Virian Elinasto, the director of Elinasto Trading Company? I am. Were you born here in Gusthaven on the 277th of Blah. PS? <laughs> I was. You have a twin sister called Adea Elinasto, is this correct? I do. He nods. Takes his fingers, the glyph disappears. Very well. There seems to have been some confusion, Lord Elanesto. It was believed you had been killed uh, a month or so ago in an airship crash. Uh, sendings and scryings were attempted, and you were reported to have been dead. But this was some time ago now. There are other matters we should discuss, but I think that that is something we should discuss in private. When did you last scry on him? Several weeks ago. Once it was confirmed that the spells were unsuccessful and that his body had been spotted, uh, it was determined that you were dead. Who confirmed that? Maybe that yes. is something that myself and the Sky Prince are very interested to discover. An investigation will be forthcoming. There is another matter that needs to be discussed. I believe it best if you come with me to... You should come with me. Right now? Yes. Okay. Can they come? If you wish. Yes. They lead you from the fort and take you to through familiar streets, streets that you've become very familiar with, to a rich district. And you know the path well because it leads home. It leads to the Elanasto estate. We're going home, everybody. The Magister turns silent, and as you round the corner, you expect to see the beautiful manor with the ivy crawling up the trellises. You expect to see the large stone buildings. Honestly, it's going to be spectacular. But you don't see that. You see blackened stone and ruined timber, scorch marks, oh my God. and an empty shell of a building that is no more. Uh, what? And that's where we're in today's episode. Oh, oh you can't! Oh, the estate! <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, holy crap! Oh, crap. <laughs> Whenever anything horrible <laughs> happens, she's just like, yeah! Eat it! Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to rattle through these donations because we want to yeah. take a quick break before we do. We head over to twitch.tv forward slash DD for like Go 4%. There. So, a big thank you from Gaming Snake Bit. 
Thanks for all the entertainment you guys helped me get into D&D and even LARP. You're more than welcome. Mia Kitty, thank you very much. First time watching live, so incredibly hyped. Love the story so far and can't wait for more. Thank, thank you very much, Mia Kitty. Lightning Wing Dragon. So sad, missing this episode because I need to catch up on the last one. We'll be back for Lightfall. Bye bye for now. Also remember Elora and the Kobolds. Uh, Kobolds, but I'm guessing that's Kobolds. Prince Knickknack. All juggled up. Hey, Joey Wheels. Recovering post-op from surgery and absolutely off my tits on pain medication. Miss being able to watch this live. Much love. Thanks very much. Glad you're recovering. Uh, Zephry012. Whenever I get a week off to watch you guys, either someone died the episode prior or somebody was resurrected. Every time. I have a day off coming up in a few weeks, so I really hope you guys get to bring Quill back by then, because the alternative is yikes. Yeah. Very much. Who knows? Darth Dave 41 Double high rollers, and we made the American Football League final here in Ireland. Best Sunday ever. Woo! Yeah. Thanks very much, Darth Dave. Nightjar donated. Rhiannon, how very dare you attack us with this sad century RP, Yog Hands. So excited for five glorious hours of D&D in the next something. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, there we go. The next Sundays, y'all better get Red Bull as your next sponsor. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Nightjar. New Alex donated. Yeah, Century's back! Ooh. Poor Tom, though. He's itching to join in, but Perry keeps getting shushed. Don't worry, man. Lightfall is next. I'm pretty sure no one ever told Reynard to shut up or was mean to him. No one <laughs> at all. No one is joining in this episode. Dark Encryption uh, also donated. First time I get to watch you guys live. Randomly found your stream one day, and I've been oh. catching up on literally oh. everything the last awesome. year. Hey, I've been working nice. in my campaign and hoping to be DMing soon. Thank you for the training, Mark. You are more than welcome. Nice. Welcome to the nice. team. Welcome to the community. Nightjar donated. Goodbye, Scaldi, Araya, and my sweet boy, Scorb. At least we still have our adopted child, Smeek, for like maybe another five minutes before he gets killed. I almost We'll him. keep bringing him that's, back. That's a long estimation. <laughs> Bayfeather donated. Uh, big donation, thank you. Sentry protect. Yeah. Sentry attack. But yeah. most importantly, Sentry finally back. She's back. Yeah. She back. Ace of Thorns donated. Party on down. Almost one step closer to restoring the Team Supreme. So sweet seeing Rhiannon reunited with Sentry. Thank you very girl. much. Delta Blaze 22. My birthday was yesterday, so I just want to share the love. Happy I turned 20, birthday. by the way. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Azul Aura donated. Back from holiday early due to illness, sad face. Oh. Being able to watch High Rollers live as a result, happy face. You guys always make my weekend, and the image of Smeek with that crown will keep me happy for the next hmm. month. Aww. Lovely. So close. So thank close. you very much. Thank you very much for the donations. Thank you. Super quick, uh, I just want to say thank you to all the new patrons as well. I'll read them uh, probably next week when we've got more time. Um, but thank you very much. We've almost got 100, actually. Whoa. We've got 99 Woo. patrons. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and wrap up a bit earlier much. so we can do that as Sorry? well. Patreon.com forward slash. High Rollers D&D. &D. No, just patron, patron.com slash High Rollers. That's the one. High Rollers, there you go. Uh, also, awesome. um, please go to twitch.tv slash D&D. Feel free to use the chats of yours, Cass, and High Rollers yes. D&D, but please go there to show your support yes. if you're going to be watching. If you're going to be watching, go to twitch.tv forward slash D&D now. Just go now yeah. go. and load it up. Go. We'll be there. We'll be starting in like 10, 10 15 minutes, yes. but we'll be there. Please watch. It's going to be really good. We're going to see the Lightfall characters back. Show D&D that High Rolls community spirit. Thanks. We'll see you then. We're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back for High Rolls Lightfall Descent on Twitch.tv forward slash D&D. See you in 10. See you in a bit. Bye. 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 Bye.